Hello everybody, it's Super Wolf and welcome to another Friday Night Dice. A little bit of a hiccup there in the beginning because my OBS decided to forget where the audio comes from on my computer. <laughs> Thank you, Windows. God dang, Windows Updates, man. So anyways, after about a couple weeks hiatus, we are back for some Friday Night Dice. Before I get into it uh, too much farther... I'm gonna bring in the rest of the crew here. Hello, everybody. Howdy. How do? So the big topic of the night, besides, you know, campaign episode number 41, is probably, um, I don't know, one d d that dropped the other night? I mean... <laughs> Am I wrong? <laughs> yeah, no, I mean... Yeah, not wrong. Yeah. Kind of is what it is, but you know, um, we'll we'll see. Hello. There's Bailey. Hey, DM. Do you guys hear me? Yes, yep. we do. Yeah. So one D and D. Um. Well, they did say it's going to be backwards compatible with my... um. Speakers are up, but because I'm seeing you guys light up. Give me one second. All right, yeah, Windows, I just series. I just got attacked by Windows for not hearing people myself, so... Oh, you can't hear me when I say that. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyways, hey, there so, you guys are. There okay, you are. Go. Hey, Valley. Yeah, so one D&D. They did say, like I said, it was, it's going to be backwards compatible, they said. And the thing is 10 years old. So, and, and we've, been, we've been even commenting ourselves, like, some of the new books that have recently come out, they've had um, mismatching rulings on new content class stuff that happens and old original dm player handbook like activity stuff they've been clashing once in a while and i think you know what 10 years old hit the reset button and let's make something like crazy good that takes all these other resources and make it into one big thing yep. I, I mean the negative part of that is it's Wizards of the Coast and everything's going to be freaking expensive, in my opinion. But, I mean, because <laughs> everyone's like, oh, let's make it reasonably priced. Since when was a $50 book reasonably priced? I mean, my God. It's more reasonably priced than 10 $50 books. <clears throat> Well, that's the other thing. It, but that is one good thing. Like, if you buy the book, you'll get the digital version of it with it. So that's about damn time. Yeah, I got two copies. So, I mean, one on D&D &D Beyond and one hard. Yeah, hard they should copy, reimburse so. you for that, man. <laughs> yeah, whatever. It is what it is. I mean, I got, you know, I got I got fun out of it. So it's, it's no big deal. Oh, yeah. I um, mean, like I said, like I said, like uh, the reason why I put a subscription in the Rule Twenty is because I looked at it and like you have three thousand hours invested into this website. Okay, I might want to chip you a few bucks now because I, if it says that much time playing something, you know, and doing that, give him a little kick kickback, you know, that make it totally free. You know, I feel like watching their ads is good enough for me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that that's my payback, right? <laughs> Uh, so, does anybody remember what we were doing? <laughs> we're, 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 we're getting out of this place. We're supposed to get out of this place and go back to the... Well, get out of this place. Yeah. Report no, the I activities don't. of these guys to the local authorities and head north back into the mirror or whatever. Well, I thought we were going down the ladder, fight some red wizards. Uh, no. No, there's we no reason for agreed. it. Actually, you're the one who agreed. I agree. It is the right decision to go up. Our goal is securing these artifacts, not killing red wizards just in another location where we know where it's not it. You know? Bailey, are you there? Oh, I'm here. Don't forget, there's a book 500 feet straight up. Oh, I know. What? I know. Oh, yeah. I the forgot about book that. that he sent up after you guys got your answers out of the red wizard. I felt like we got some very good intel, and he deserved a little fun. But I don't tell you guys that. Oh, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. I forgot about that. So I grabbed the uh, irremovable rod, and let's head on out of here. 
to the chaos of whatever's waiting us up, up top, which we don't know about. <laughs> All right. Mm. Well, the first, the first part is finding your way up top. Just go back the way we came. No, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Ryan doesn't know that. <laughs> in theory, this way. Well, in theory. It, yeah, and we marked it with chalk, remember? Yeah, we did the chalk. Plus, the paladin has that locate object. You just try to locate something on the surface level. I don't know that locating something on the surface would help, because they just tell Whoa. you that it's up. <laughs> That's how we found this place, isn't it? That's how we found that it was down. I thought we used it more to, like, narrow down where we were going. I just figured we could do the same on the reverse. Uh, yeah... I don't know. I mean, I could just locate object and look for um, Harley's, oh, like Harley's dad's place, like something from Harley dad's place. Well, it has a certain range, though. It's pretty far, right? Yeah. Can we just yeah. follow the chalk and see where we wind up? Yeah. yeah, let's do that. If we get lost, then we go to Plan B. Locate objects on the manhole cover we came in through. Yeah, that's, that's what I was thinking. Ah, even better. All right, there you go. All right, so you're casting locate object then. Oh, uh, uh, wait a minute. Do we want to do we want to follow the chalk first and see if we can get back that way? Well, it's a thousand feet away. So if it's within like a quarter mile, I'm assuming it's within a quarter mile, right? <laughs> I just burn the spell slot. There's no way there could be an encounter on our way up. Oh, definitely right. not. There's no... Well, we had a long rest, though, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. I leveled yeah. up, by the way. Oh, shoot. Did I level up? <laughs> I don't know if I leveled up my character. Uh, yes, you guys yes, did have a long rest. Did you make your save on the uh, dream spell? <coughs> on the what spell? Oh, you uh, forgot to mention that last time. No, yeah, I, I'm, I'm just... I'm messing with you. <laughs> no, <laughs> well, well, no, we made our, we made our save on the poisonous air. I mean, you guys yeah. did. Yeah, you didn't. <laughs> Alright. Let's, let's get All right, I'll burn it. I'll burn it and see what's going on. The last few times. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, mess to it. Two weeks off, he messes with us right at the beginning of the match. I see how it is. <laughs> Alright. Um, so, you cast Locate Object, and it does seem that it is above you just about 400 feet up. The boot. The what? The boot? The boot. A boot. Oh, a boot. Gotcha. <laughs> no one says that up here. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, as for following the chalk, roll me a percentile. Uh, who wants to roll it? A percentile? Uh, I rolled it before. I'm not rolling it again. <laughs> Eric's got the best survival by default. Right, well, it's not a survival, roll it's it. a percentile. I know, I'm just saying, <laughs> just ball roll it. Also, no, uh, I have the best survival now. What? Oh. Well, he yeah, took he took the feet. Yeah. Wow, that's a pretty big investment for survival. Uh, no, I <laughs> did that for the plus one con. <laughs> <laughs> like you also get expertise but it doesn't have to be in survival like you could pick something else right I, I mean yeah but I already have four expertises and nothing terribly good to put it in oh I already have four expertises well he's what? like oh, dude. well he's like oh, okay. well Sean was like well what what which part of the party is like the weakest like skill stat of the group and they were like survival or there was like one other one um, and we're like, uh, we might as well do survival, I guess. <laughs> well, now we got a really good survival person, so that's good. Yeah, right. can't roll less than 19. Overnight, you read the Boy Scout hand manual. You're all set for survival now. <laughs> that is quite a jump in one sleep, by the way. Yeah, I know, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, from zero to nine? Yeah. It's quite a big jump, but it's correct. <laughs> um, anyway... So you start heading down the sewers, down at uh, the direction that Chalk is going. And you come <laughs> right back here. God damn it. 
locate objects doing nothing? I mean, locate objects, it's it's uh, about 400 feet above you. But locate objects doesn't give you a path. The same the same uh, Skyrim where it gives you a path. <laughs> or I guess Fallout, maybe. Yeah, I mean, I guess the best we could ask for is slightly left, slightly right, slightly forward, slightly back. What, real life doesn't have a mini-map with a compass? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, Just look for the green blob on the mini-map. <laughs> should we try to the left? Harlequin's just kind of looking at you guys like, oh my god. Let's just get <laughs> Well, west is always best, so, I mean... She's kind of like, we're a certain power level, let's just get out of here. Which way is best, though, Rayon? West. Which way is west? Well, north, actually, this time, because north is up, right? Yeah, in most cases, I would agree with you. <laughs> However, you guys, have been, you guys went in a straight line and came back the way that you well left, so... <laughs> Oh my god! I don't know. I mean, it's it's up. It's I don't know. Is it kind of like for me? Like I'm getting a sense of where direction is. Like I know it's up from here, but it's kind of up behind, up forward. Like you know, like where am I getting a sense of where this is coming from? Just vertical. Um, almost exactly vertical. It does seem to be about twenty five feet to your quote unquote right. Oh my god. So, more right. to here. It's pretty much directly up. above you, though. Harlequin's gonna look at you guys. She sees the situation. You said it was, what, 400 feet straight up? Just under that, yes. She is going to cast a spell. Gentlemen, I will see you ups upside. And she is going to. Hold on, to cast hold on, hold on, hold on. Before you cast anything, I am gonna take Ray and I'm gonna put him in a pocket dimension. So. That way you don't have to worry about him. I might as well do that for familiars, I suppose. Yeah. Yes, I will do the same, actually, come to think of it. Bruce will. I don't know how to get rid of it. Yeah. Just delete. He's right? going to summon Greater Demon. Okay. She is burning one of her fourth level slots. She has one remaining because she actually just cast the same spell on the dead wizard. And she is going to summon once more. And he was actually being, uh, he was actually on this plane of existence. The da book! Alright. I... She is going to say, gentlemen, I will see you topside. And she is going to command the da book to grapple her. And then she is going to make, or no, she doesn't even, he doesn't even to grapple. He's just going to cast Dimension Door. And he can cast that at will, that is true. And as part yep. of Dimension Door, you can... Uh, where does it say? Bring you one bring creature with you. Objects. Uh, you can also bring one willing creature. Gentlemen, goodbye. That is not nice. <laughs> she does say she'll be waiting for you topside. I will I, teleport 305 feet, though. Are you going to send the debook back down to teleport us up? Uh, That's could. what I was thinking at first. I guess I could. It would be kind of risky, though. Uh, I mean... <laughs> listen, if, if, it I guess. Con <laughs> if it breaks control, I, oh. any one of us can kill it. I guess the risky part is really the just last me. person could be stuck. The last person could be stuck. So who do we want to go last? Rayon, maybe? Wow. I am well, tired of you summoning demons. I am going to start smacking you in the face every time I start a demon again anymore. Do you want to go up now, or do you want to crawl your way up a sewer? It's your choice. I think well, Adrian before we decide, roll the charisma save. Oh, because we're topside now? Okay. Well, it's like an, it took an action, so if you're casting it again, it's going to be next turn. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. It, if anyone should get left behind, though, it should be 
Yeah. Adrian, maybe? Because he can be invisible, climb on walls and all that. What about Adrian last because you have silvery barbs? That's also good. Yeah. There we go. All right. All right. Fair enough. I wasn't actually intending on sending him down, but you guys are making sense, so... The book is back. Ah! Uh, go ahead and make me a perception <laughs> check while, um, Harlequin. Oh, me? Yes. Oh, I, God. I was not expecting anything topside. I thought it'd be nice and quiet. Let's take a listen. Yeah, sure. After you sent the other thing up there. <laughs> it's not bad for a plus zero. Okay, you hear some screaming in the distance. <laughs> but the oh, no. like down guards here. shouting. I, just because the debook is gone doesn't mean that the, the terror it left behind is not is gone. Well, that makes sense. Here's some shouting and some screaming north from where you're at. Okay, All right. so we're going to need to do two charisma saves for every person we bring up. All Pretty right, much. So you see the debook. His name is Bag. No, not Bag. His name is... Uh... name is er Erkoth. Erkoth. You see Erkoth show up, and you, you saw Harlequin disappear up, so you're assuming you guys are going to do the same. Who's next? Rayon? Mm, I was thinking the cleric, because, you know, I can... I can do more damage than you do. <laughs> mm, debatable, but... Is there a certain uh, range where you can control the thing? Um, that's a good question. Like, I know telepathic communication is only 120 feet, right? But, um, the rest is up to you. Uh, uh, uh. I just figured it was kind of like with the ape. Remember, uh, I did that in that drow city where he went off and did a mission and came back, you know what I mean? It doesn't really say. Uh, That'd be a DM call. Yeah. I'm hoping yes, because I already have him down here. <laughs> ah, yeah, I'd say so. I mean, you can tell him, go down and then come back up, so that defeats the purpose of the telepathic commute, or de defeats the argument of, well, you can't telepathically communicate with him down there. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, so the book ends his turn down there. So that was his action, so he does have to make a save. It's a flat roll. It's a 14. And the DC is 19? 18? 19. 19, okay. yeah. It's pretty high. <laughs> Got a plus 2. And it, does oh, it roll straight, straight or is it 18? It's, it's 18, sorry. Minus two. Yeah, it rolls straight. Okay. Alright, who's going up next? I'll go, that's fine. Alright, he just kind of goes, and You both disappear. Convoluted taxi service. <laughs> I mean, this is the most efficient fourth level <laughs> slot I think you can get. Yeah. And you will. Do this more often. Between the, the between the amount of information that you've got and the spells, this is by far one of the best uses of the spell. Ooh, Ooh, silvery bars. Oh. He's silvery up. barbs. So he's up top with me. So I will be the one casting silvery barbs. Okay. That's Go and make another save for him. And here comes the save. I almost I took silvery barbs advantage. in my sorcerer. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh, he made it again. He made it again. Too bad I didn't write down silvery barbs. All right, so it's me and the cleric versus this the book for one round because I am breaking concentration as soon as I sense he is. Done. Well, one d six rounds. Oh shoot, one d six rounds. You're right. I mean, it's got what thirty seven hit points. You guys should easily be able to murder it. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, you're talking about us here. I mean, <laughs> I mean, yeah, no, could, could roll nothing but ones. How about we take off, like, a spell slot each and some hit points, and that's sort of the fair deal. Well, it's already used its action, so then it's your turn. Well, presumably your turn, then Tolv's turn, and by the time it gets its turn back, 
it's 37 hit points is going to be gone for you, right. I would think. Fair enough. Then I will recast Summon Greater Demon and use my last fourth level slot. Let's hope this one doesn't succeed on both. <laughs> and I will command the Dubuk, and he's just kind of looking at me like, come on. Go down and retrieve Rayon. Kitty cat. He, he, All right, he wraps his wraps his arms around my thighs. Brings <laughs> right on. Are you ready? Uh, okay. <laughs> he ends his turn topside. Here comes another save. And then all we got is Adrian. Oh yeah, we're good. Not one. <laughs> one more save. It matters. This, this is this is the most. This is the one time you want to roll as low as possible. All right. Summon greater demon charisma save. Oh, that was close. Was close. Ooh. I mean, it was close, but I do have silvery barbs. Yeah, but look at what that did for me. <laughs> well, it's... true. But, I mean, I also, I also could kill the thing pretty fast. <laughs> yeah. You could probably kill it in one turn. It'd be kind of scary, though. There's probably some corpses lying around. Let's just say that. So you just casted four dimension doors with two fourth level slots. Eight actually, because it was down and up. Uh, I guess, yeah, eight. Well, wait. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven of them. Uh, seven. So seven dimension doors and a whole lot of information for three fourth level slots. I'm telling That's... you guys, remember this. Summon Greater Demon. It's got some uses. Wow. All right. High risk, high reward. <laughs> yep. You know what? Silvery Barbs makes it actually much better than it was before, I'll be honest. Yeah. Or if you're like a divination wizard. All right. Let's do this. So you guys are top side. It's pretty much a little bit after midday. Where do you guys go? Um, I want to memorize this location that is, you know, basically precisely above the Red Wizard Drow City. Yeah, you, know. you, can, yeah, you can make a, a, like, markings around or something like that so it's easy to find. I say we get back to Harley's dad's place, um, and there, um, there's a couple people we need to warn what's going on. I think we uh, all have s someone we want to talk to and tip off about the location of this city. Yeah, yeah I kind of want to tell the, uh, <laughs> kind of want to tell my peoples. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, the rogue has his faction and then there's Harley's father. So yeah, let's let's all do that. We can all split up and come back to um, the main yeah. ring residence or we can go there and whatever you guys want. Does Tov want to go and uh, tell, what's his name, Drist? Orden. Yeah, I can do that. <clears throat> so we're splitting the party. <laughs> no, I don't need to split because I could just well, you do don't. that magically. Yeah. That's true. That's a good point. Um, if I can find the spell. Did you have it prepared? I don't think I got it prepared. I'll tell him in the morning. Oh, you don't have it? Oh, okay. Hold on, let me see. Sending, right? What is that, a second level? Third. Third level. Uh, no, I did not take it this time. I'll tell him in the morning. I don't know where he is, so there's no... Right. Well, is um, it a I date? Do... Did you want to go to the Bane Ray residence with Harley, or did you want to... Yeah, because uh, we need to stop at a magic shop, or a... Uh, uh, diamond diamond dealer or whatever. What time of day is it actually? That's just afternoon, like one, two o'clock ish. I would also like to go to a shop or two, so maybe let's do that. Let's go. All right, Harley and myself are going. We'll meet you guys back at uh, the residence. Sounds I'll, good. 
I think Adrian will accompany Ryan to his meeting with the Lord's Alliance. You just have to like stand outside the door. <laughs> if they want secrecy, that sure. They'll Adrian see your thieves' be. tools and they'll be like, nope. Yeah, if that happens, that's fine. But, you know, just in case I want to eavesdrop. We still have our cart, right? Do we have a cart oh, yeah. horses? Or... Uh, you had a cart. I don't, I don't remember if you guys had horses or not. You, you, yeah. you had your summoning. You had your summoned horses. That's what it was. Yeah, we okay. left them yeah. at the Bainery Manor. All right, let's go. Do it. We got to get to the mirror. Yep. So we break, go for, go and form our peoples. All right. Who do we want to follow first? Is anybody here? Nah. I'll tell you what, we'll be uh, odd. Uh, uh, Charlie and Tolv will be odd, and uh, the other two will be even. So I'm just going to roll a d20. How's that sound? Or d6. Sure. Even. It's them. All right. Uh, Saber, are you there? You're muted if you're there, Saber. Yeah, just roll for him. He won't mind. <laughs> I think there might be a little more than rolling going on. <laughs> In that case, we're going to go with Paul and <laughs> So, yeah. Paul and Harley. I had, a minus one, I had a minus one on that roll, so it's a one. So you guys are going to a set of magic shops, correct? Yeah, Paul, you can I, do yours first. I just need a... Uh, I'm looking for a, a diamond uh, that's worth 300. Wants to replace some diamonds that we yeah, used. We used two of them, don't forget. Oh, we did. So... Um, I believe we have enough money for two... Uh, between the lot of us, probably. Oh, we have we have 150 platinum pieces. So I mean, and yeah. I have I have seven bags. Listen, I have seven bags of silver dust. Do we need silver dust? You're I the only I person can... that well, you and Ryan, I guess, can technically use it <laughs> to make holy water. But that's about it. Yeah. Okay. I, I I'm gonna cash in six bags of the holy dust. Okay. See if I could trade it for a diamond. A couple, two diamonds, two th two diamonds worth three hundred gold pieces. Yeah, you can do an even trade. The six bags for the two diamonds. Um, and then, all right, let me make sure we take care of that real quick. Uh, I'm on the loot page, and to do to do. Where's that? Where's that bag of holding? Uh, no, did I have it in my inventory? Yeah, so uh, about the bag of holding, we both have the bag of holding, like we each have one, I mean. And yeah. All of our loot is divided between them. So Harley's going to do a little bit of shopping, and uh, she might uh, borrow some money out of the loot without asking. <laughs> That's right down Harley's alley. Okay, so I, I I removed six bags of a uh, silver pouch, and I'm going to add two diamonds worth. Sounds good. What is Harley looking for? All right, let's get shopping. She needs uh, three pearls worth 100 GP each. She would like to buy that. Um, Paul, you're going to have to take it out of the group loot because my character sheet shows 42, no, shows 12 gold total. So just start taking off the money and um, she thinks that this will not be a problem um, as far as you guys being okay with it. She's just kind of going with it. Cool. Well, Ryan carries his money with him. Uh, what yeah. do you need? Well, I'm buying three pearls and they're each worth 100 GP, so 300 gold off the... Or 30 oh. platinum. What spell is that for, if you don't mind me asking? 
Uh, it's for the scroll that I wish to produce. It is a um, Fortune's Favor Dunamancy spell, second level. Do you have to use the material components in making the scroll? Correct. Furthermore, she would like to buy some more components. Uh, she needs three of these. They are for a fifth level spell. It is a uh, teleportation circle. Um, rare chalks and inks infused with precious gems, 50 GP. So she's going to take three of those. So Paul, take off another 150, however you want to take it off the group loot. Yeah, just... Give me the total sum at the end, and then we'll do so. So oh, uh, we have a track of it. Just just take it off, whatever. All right. So what was the first one? Was that 30, 30 platinum, you said? or 30 platinum. Yeah, 30 platinum. And then this is another 15 platinum, so 45 total. And then she's right. going to crack her knuckles and enter the finest magic shop available that offers reasonable prices. So she's not going high end or anything, but she is interested in entering an armory. She would like to purchase a pair of a suit of studded leather plus one. Okay. Um, so you walk, you walk into the magic shop that you had been a couple of days previous buying your magic items here and there. And he looks at you quite odd and is like, back so soon, are we? Oh, yes. I forgot one item. My companions are not here, but um, I would like to purchase a fine suit of studded leather. What do you have? She asked. And if there's something else, you know, we'll take a look. Oh, we have some, we definitely, we have a few sets of studded leather. Anything specific that you were looking for? Um... Yeah, just your standard run-of-the-mill plus one studded leather. It's just so I don't have to cast mage armor. I could just wear this leather instead. Reasonable pricing shop is what she's going for. Just going to look up something real quick in one second. She thinks, I'm sure my companions will have no problems. I'll just tell them later, she thinks. Well, about 1,500 gold pieces. I can go ahead and parse with one of my plus one studded leathers. How much did you say, sorry? 1,500. Okay, very good. Uh, that is a very fine uh, suit of armor, but I'm sure you can lower the price. My father is very famous, and uh, if he is to bring business to your store, I would like to give him a good review of your business. How about a lower price? That's already was with the discount. You only came in a couple hours earlier with the same <laughs> offer. Yeah. All right. She leans over to the counter, bats her eyebrows. I'm sure you can come up with a better price. Wink. Ding. We're we're not gonna do this song and dance again today. You you were here only a couple hours earlier. Oh my god! Is this thing. the same guy? This is pretty much. All right, Paul, take off one thousand five hundred gold. I don't even. Uh, know I'm you. not. I'm not gonna do that. What? Why not? That's that's a lot of gold. How much do uh, we have? I thought we were like oodles. You, of gold. That no, we don't. No, that we don't. Is. You. Your previous spending left us with yeah. 105 platinum and with the diamonds, actually. And we bought the diamonds were yeah, we bought it. yeah, so 105 platinum. Right. Which is 45. Very well. Do you have known. anything? I, I mean, I have a ruby. I have a ruby that's worth 500 gold pieces. I have a pearl that's worth 100 gold pieces. How many? How many pearls do you need? How about, how about, okay, how about that gem? If the group is cool, that's 500. And how about I throw in this uh, draconic golden statue that we found? So that's another 500 plus. And then I promise to pay back the rest. It's like a loan against the party. Is that fair? Well, how much would you need? How much more another, do you like need? Like 400 ish gold. 500, but yeah. yeah 500. Well, the statue is very valuable. 
Is that? It was uh, built by one of the finest sculptors in Luskin. Roll me deception. All right. <laughs> no, sorry. Roll me perception or er, uh, persuasion. Oh, deception. <laughs> deception. I am proficient. Persuasion. I am not. Now I'm gonna roll deception. Oh, hold on. Oh, never mind. I was messing with you. I just wanted to. <laughs> oh, for real? I, Nineteen. And no, I was. I was messing with you because I know that you've wanted to roll that for a very long time. Oh, the deception. Oh, oh okay. I have the. Uh, but I'm gonna take Harley to the side and say, "Listen, I have the clockwork clockwork amulet that we could probably trade because nobody could use it." Oh, I think we're, no. we're, we're, well, we're kind of. I don't know. I know it is. It's such a good item that everybody forgets about. <laughs> All doesn't. He's used it effectively every time. Oh, um, hold on. I have. All right, maybe Harlequin is oh, really oh. willing to get rid of one of her things. Ugh. I have the wand of the war mage plus one. Oh, we Nobody sold uses. that already. I'm pretty sure. Did we? Did we sell that? Oh yeah, I got zero. I'm sorry. That's right. We did. We did sell that. All right. Um, How about yeah, I got nothing. I got nothing. All right, of course. Where do you think another five hundred gold? I promise to pay it back. Uh, to the shopkeeper or to the party? To the party. Yeah, we bought that jewel encrusted bowl. That was a thousand gold pieces. So, um, how many pearls did you have? How many? You bought how many pearls? I bought three. I have none. Right. But there's one in our thing, so you really only needed two. Okay. Or, never mind. I have. I have. I have six hundred in in a gem and a and a pearl. How much money do you have, Tolv? Can I borrow it off of you? Yes, that's what I was getting to. Okay. Oh, Volt, my favorite cleric ever. May I borrow five hundred gold pieces? I promise to pay it back. I doubt She's not you will. Pay it back. Fingers crossed behind my back. All right. Do we have a deal? Do we have the studded leather? Of course. Although. I'm still confused as to why you didn't pick it up a couple hours ago when you were here. Oh, never mind that. I realized I need it. Now I, I must have it. So how how much do you need from me? Uh, five hundred. All right. So I'm gonna I'm taking off the ruby. All right. Just give me a second. I'm taking off the draconic statue. And I am in your debt, sir. And did we, were, are we keeping the pearl or did, is that part of it? Yeah, keep the pearl. All right. So I need, so I owe, you need 500 from me? Yeah. So I am going to take 200 gold pieces from the group loot, all right? And I'm going to lend you 300 because, you know, I'm no fool. All right. Deal. And I just removed 300 from my sheet. And what are you wearing now? Anything? What do you mean, what am I wearing? Are you trying to get, like, I mean, some favor and for this money, or what's going on? No, no. You're, uh, you, you don't have armor at the moment? No, I was wearing no armor. I was just using the uh, mage armor from the staff. Mage armor. Okay. And but that's not good like, enough? Get me to take off my clothes or something. Is that not good enough? That's not going to happen, Volt. No, the uh, major armor. Major armor. <laughs> no, it's like uh, I can save the, the slot, you know, like with the mage armor uh, costs one charge out of the staff. So, you know, it's only got seven charges. So if I use three shields, then I'm going to destroy the staff potentially. I love that staff. I don't want to destroy it. That's Unlike the hammer, I was willing to roll the dice. <laughs> Oh, and you have the hammer. You should have sold the hammer. Oh, I already did last session. You already sold oh, it. Right. Yeah. That's right. That's... All, right. All right. Let's go. 
All right. And and what about uh, Rayon and those guys? <laughs> exactly. Rayon and Adrian. Blinking on the name there for a second. Yep. Where are you guys going again? I'm going to go uh, talk to Lord's Alliance, inform them of some things. Well, I, I am at least. I don't know if you're coming with me or not. I'm tailing you. Sure you are, because thieves. <laughs> I mean, I might come along, uh, obviously, either. I just... I don't know. We've been ambushed before. What? What do you mean ambush? <laughs> never. Never would do that. We did last week. Oh, wait, that was a one-shot. Never mind. Um, by the way, thank you, Fatal Gaming, for the follow. Um, yeah. I, uh, yeah, we're going to go to Lord's Lions guy, the one that knows about the, the, the watch commander, I guess it is, right? More correctly. I mean, I think the, the commander is, is now Nicholas because he's back. <laughs> Pretty much. Okay. Well, well, I mean, we know that a location of where it is, so, uh, roughly. But there's probably someone other than Nicholas who's been trying to handle the situation with the Red Wizards for a while now. Oh, yeah, no, plenty of people were. Yeah, but there's, like, probably someone who's been, like, in charge of the, doing that. Fair enough. Anywhere specific where you guys want to go, or are you just going to go to, like, the nearest, like, guard station uh... well I just want to tell I mean because I have an in with them already because of the whole um, trying to get in situation I just wanted to look for his station per se hmm. Nicholas's station or uh, uh, whatever the dude, the dude that we met at the gate that got us in because um, ooh, we were having okay. issues. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, he was stationed at the north gate. That's where you guys came in, so that's a decent ways away. Okay. Where you get? All right. Um, mm -hmm. heading over. Go ahead and make me a percentile roll. A percentile roll. Yep, percentile. Oh boy. Here we go again. I don't think I've rolled this many percentile rolls in the campaign. Like, ever. 32. Oh, my All right. You're able to get there unhindered. I mean, there's just every once in a while, there's a cart, a couple carts that pass by, and you have to move off to the side. But other than that, pretty much unhindered. Um, and you do That's get to thing. the north. What's it called? The North Gate. What do you do? I'll go. Uh, do we ever? Do you ever? Do we ever say what Ryan's rank is? <laughs> like I know it's not. I know, I know it's above like the bottom. Obviously, it's definitely above the bottom. But you haven't re been really doing much with the Lords Alliance specifically. They haven't well, known you your updates. He did do that one deed to bring Glassstaff's head. Remember that was well, pretty good. It well, that's why I have the crown on my head, though. Anything, but it was pretty good. Yeah, yeah, that's why I'm wearing the crown right now. That and I guess I think you guys were being tired of me being incoherent, but um. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> Five intelligence, <laughs> baby. <laughs> got some good reputation with uh, Sildar, one of the Griffin Riders right. of Waterdeep. Mm -hmm. That's true. Okay, okay. Um. Oh God, what was the guy's name? Because this was like two months ago. <laughs> oh, I don't remember what the guy's name. Okay, is. I drop the dude's name and be like, I have um, intel to report about res wizard activity in the city to whoever's name. <laughs> Here's the question: uh, Do they let Adrian uh, in? For this conversation, defense does uh, Rayon vouch for you? Uh, mm, sure. 
I mean, you vouched for me for the uh, gang smuggled out of the city. So, and you were good for that. So, yeah. All right. So, given on a few minutes, you are taken to Galliart. The you should coming up with a random name there. <laughs> Putting in the chat. Um, and he asks you, I, I hear that you have something to report about the Red Wizards. Um, might I ask, not King, not King, just Galliart. Might I ask, what specifically? <laughs> well, King, you have to report. okay. Um, <laughs> uh, we found, uh, we found a, a location where, uh, where the uh, front door thingy is, but um, we're, it kind of got lost down there. But uh, but they 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 definitely have a uh, full on city like under under here, under the north gate. Uh, it's the entrance is actually from the uh, the the city of the the cemetery city there. Kind of looks at you, kind of. Oh, you mean the the city of the dead? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That one, that one. Okay, and you said that they had an entire city down there. It's. Yes, they, they have like this uh, big, like mansion place with like the whole like. It was like a pit, and then we were fighting down there, and they had a bunch of undead people, and we were like trying to get in, then we had to try to get out, and we got lost, and yeah. But they're down underneath here. And you've done this within the last day? Oh, uh, yeah, like, I don't know, was it like an hour or two ago? <laughs> like a couple hours ago? <laughs> we only persuasion with disadvantage. Disadvantage? I'm telling the truth. <laughs> Disadvantage. Yeah, but you're not explaining it very well. <laughs> ha! <laughs> 22 on a low one on disadvantage. <laughs> That's, that all seems very... Seems like you went through a lot within the last day. I mean, you only came in through the gate yesterday. Well, me and my, my uh, group here, you know, the uh, Heroes of Fendelver and all, we, we're, we're pretty, uh, we do a bang-up job, we do stuff pretty quick. Heroes of Fendelver, isn't that just a small town? Oh, uh, yeah, it's like, um, um, is it north of here, bud? It's not just a small town. It's an amazing town. <laughs> <laughs> You're not here. <laughs> Best campaign ever. Yeah, I heard mentioned that earlier. Backwards compatibility, oh, one D and D. No. I'm biting my tongue fiercely. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Needs a little. All right. Work. Well, how yeah. how far down about was it? Saying a massive city. Um. Well, I mean, I mean, it took us about like what? How long did it take us, Dan? Like an hour? Like two, an hour, two hours? Oh no, we took more than that because we had to take a long rest and everything. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh no, we took a short rest going into there down there. So you took a short rest down there. It took you a while right. to get out. Getting or sorry, you took you quite a while to get in because of all the backwards. Um, and climbing up through the window and everything else, yeah, so... Yeah. Uh, it took us a couple hours, so I would say about a good... Um, good a couple miles, I guess, underground. <laughs> I don't know. Because we kept getting turned around by... Because I don't know how... The thing is, Ryan doesn't know how maze and whatever works. You have a 19 intelligence, so... Well, uh, You're not dumb. You, you, you yeah. do know that um, the yeah, dimension true. door could go has a maximum of 500 feet, so going sh and, and you guys went 400 feet. Up. Okay, so I would yeah, say it's, it's about about 
about 700 to 1,000 feet, like, underground. Yeah, because... That's true, because I forgot the dimension to door it, distance. Because the hatch to the ladder down is 400 feet down if you dig straight. Right. And it's got to be within 1,000 feet if my uh, ability can do itself. So, yeah, it's under 1,000. So it's under 1,000. It's about 800 well, feet. Well... The city isn't. Because he only picked up the guy who was up by the hatch. Hmm. Yeah, plus there's all the markings on the wall and such. Don't forget to tell the guy about the secret door in the drow. Remember the, um, the thing that the book told us about you don't want to go in the first big double doors? There's a nondescript wooden door that they need to go in. And there's a ledge down there. Oh, yeah, that too. <laughs> Oh, and when I, yeah, the I, I might be asleep for a while, but it's down there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love you say that part. <laughs> really, a lich under our own city? Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, he's, he, I mean, you know, being with the red wizards and all, being you know undead and all, they're, they're, I mean, that's probably who their, uh, who their like you know local outpost outpost uh, commander guy, you know, kind of thing is. How long have they been down there? Well, according to you all, they've been here for several months, you know. So we, but we don't know how long they've been there ourselves. Uh, but you guys have told us. Answered that actually. I think it was uh, a year and a half. Oh, they've been here a year and a half. I'm gonna miss that part. Yep. Okay. Yeah, they've been here for like a year and a half. <laughs> they the they started really becoming a problem within the last few months. At yeah. Least. Oh, that's or right. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Their their uptick in activity has been in the last few months. Okay, but they've been here for like a while. Well, this is this is very concerning and all great information. Is there anything else that we should know about? Um, no, no, that's about it. That's the only there's the only new stuff that I know of that since I've been here. Which uh, has well, been only like a day or two. <laughs> huh? I Discord quit on me for a little bit, so oh. what all did you tell them? Uh, I told them where it was, ish, because you know all the mazes and shit. Right. The uh, lich, the secret door. The lich, the secret door, the, um, the fact they've been here for like a year and a half, but they only know, but in the, they've only had an uptick, uptick of activity for the past couple months. Uh, They've actually been here for a year and a half. The, we know the password for the guards and wards. Oh, yeah, and we know the password, too. Might as well give them the password. Yeah, make it a little easier on them. I mean, just to screw over the Red Wizards, have everyone know the password. Yeah, because screw the Red <laughs> Wizards for making me not sleep for three days. <laughs> oh, no, you slept. Just not well. <laughs> I almost had to roll. I had to roll for exhaustion. God. <laughs> All different times, yeah. Yeah. All right. And I'm a cat. Don't get between a cat and naps. I mean, come on now. <laughs> well, once again, this this information is very appreciated. Um, we'll go ahead and. What's the word? When you go up a level. Uh, pass it up the chain? Yeah. yeah. I'll go ahead and pass it up to my superiors and we'll try to get this figured out. Good to hear. Alright. Anything else that you guys would like to do? Uh, you have to report into your uh, your group, right? Uh, yeah, you gotta report into the Zentarum. And I'm going with you for this, I guess, because I've been there before. <laughs> You've been to one safe house. Yeah, you went to a safe house, not like a base of operation. Well, you came with me. I go with you. Uh, is there even such a place where I could take him for the Zintarum? <laughs> like, you know, a, like a public-facing... Uh, 
a public facing headquarters for the Zintarum. I mean, there's a couple of different businesses like that have a front part and then you kind of got the inner working in the back. And like a mafioso few... deli or something? Yeah, kind of. There's several different things like that that you could take them to if that's what you're asking. Uh, yeah, I'll take them to one of those where I know someone who's going to be there. And I'll cast message to get them to come up and see us. You know, just to add a layer of secrecy to everything. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, you go to one of the mafioso delis, as <laughs> Leo said. Um, you, you hey, recognize I got some information for you, capiche? Rayon can have a sandwich, it all works out. Oh, yeah, food, I'm there. Um, recognize one of the people there, you send off your message. What do you say? <laughs> I have vital information for the Zintarum. There is a Lord's Alliance accompanying me. Oh, God. Really? <laughs> you can't wow. Hear yeah, you can't hear the message. I know, but damn. <laughs> you get me assassinated, bro. The Lord's Alliance uh, member is trustworthy. And I, I want to add an audible pause in the message at the end. Like before trustworthy or after trustworthy? Uh, yes, both. <laughs> the Lord's Just Alliance like... is yep. trustworthy. <laughs> well, again, yeah. gonna, I'm going to get Mikel ready now. <clears throat> Jesus. Okay. Hmm. You get a uh, message ping back in your head. Does this information need to be presented in person? Mm. For King to drop it. I mean, fair enough. I will message Cantrip him all of the details. <laughs> Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> uh, pretty much the same details that you gave, that Rayon gave to the Lord's Alliance. Uh, as well as things along the fact the that the Lord's Alliance has most of this information, yes. Okay, roll me uh, Persuasion with Disadvantage. Uh, okay, I mean, I need to get back into roll 20. <laughs> Here, I'll roll it for you. Do you know how to put disadvantage on on my sheet? <laughs> I mean, I know how to roll two dice. Mm, fair enough. Uh... Well, Ooh. there you go. <laughs> Not bad. Well, the worst you can do is ten, right? Uh, not if, not if I'm not proficient. Okay. Yeah. Zero persuasion. He is definitely not proficient. <laughs> Unless he has that really high negative. No, no, it's that's a four. And it, you kind you kind of get the ping back, and you did all that within a few hours. Yes. Magic is a very helpful thing for this kind of thing. Okay, I'll go ahead and take your report. Doesn't sound like they're going to be very helpful on this one. <laughs> it's not about them helping. It's about them knowing. I guess. I just assumed everyone was going to gather their forces and attack while we go off to the mirror. 
Uh, yes, the Lord's Alliance and the Zentarum. Great allies. Well, I didn't mean like together at once, but the combined force, you know. All right, cool. All right, anything else that you guys want to do before heading back? Uh, I guess I'll grab Rye on a sandwich from the deli. <laughs> Which, what does Ryan think of all this? Of, you know, asking to come to the meeting, and then Adrian just starts silently whispering into thin air. Well, he's and seen you point and cast. Don't forget pointing. He's seen you point and cast. I, I mean, I'd be pointing like just into the back, <laughs> since it can <laughs> go through walls. Um, you, you know, you do know that they come to our table to get the orders, right? <laughs> yeah, all right. It doesn't hurt to talk directly to the chef. <laughs> that's that's that, that's what we're on the rye on right there. <laughs> oh, there he is again, and he's back. What's going on with your internet, dude? Yeah. Uh, not my internet. I just needed to restart my computer. The joke was that bad. Oh, uh, were you on your phone? I, I've been on my phone for a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, I could tell he was on his phone. Yeah, I, I knew was... something was going on with this mic or whatever he was using to talk to people. But I wasn't quite sure, but that makes sense. I'm actually not sure why my phone, why the mic sounds different, because it's literally the same mic. It sounded a little bit more muffled, but not much. Anyway. I think, uh, you guys are meeting back up at the manor, right? Yep. Yeah. You go to the manor, you kind of knock on the front door. The butler answers. Master Harlequin, you here so soon? You back so soon? Oh, she just kind of walks by this gentleman. Yes, I'm here to see my father. Where is he? I mean, he's still up in his study where you left him. Can you call him? We have urgent information for him. Right away. Sure, just give me a moment. Walks up, walks up the stair, up a couple flights of stairs, and a few minutes later, he comes back down with Oh my god, I'm blanking on his name. Jarl Axel. Jarl Axel, thank you. Ah, uh, yes, what can I help you with? Well, you had mentioned that you had sent some of your members to find the uh, Red Wizard Enclave. We have found it, and she will explain. Um, hold on, before you start talking, I'm going to say, is there a place where we could talk in private? You don't trust the butler. No. All right. Yep. Never Stay trust outside the butler. The, <laughs> the butler always does it. Remember? He's a doppelganger. Kill him. <laughs> yes, of All course. Right. Go ahead and talk on my study. Are we all there? Like all four party members? Yeah. Yes. Somebody doesn't want to be. Oh yeah, that's yeah, cool. that's yeah. I think we're all there. All right, so she'll just explain once we're in a secure area about uh, all of our trials and tribulations and the discovery of the Red Wizard Enclave. It is in fact beneath the city of the dead, as you had suggested, because I think it was him that actually suggested, right? Yeah, it was, it was, he suggested as a possibility. Yes. Yes. So and... your intuition was correct, Father, as always. And she's kind of uh, sucking up to him because she wants a present. <laughs> of course. And you did all of this within a few hours. I mean, we are very good. It's been, we took two, two short rests and a long rest. What do you... She kind of looks at, at him and then looks at the party and it's then like, kind of yeah. like gives him a glance. Like, look at all of our fancy armor, magic weapons. Yes, we did it in a few hours. You say a few hours. It, I mean, it was like... Day and a half. Uh, no, you guys I... left this morning. 
Well, no, we had a long rest, remember? Yeah. And we leveled up. Yes. So you yeah, it has been this quite morning. Quite a oh time. no. What are you talking about? Wait. We left last morning, didn't we? You all have been gone for a few hours. Oh my god. Oh no! I'm going now. I get what the freaking guard was saying now. Bailey and his freaking doctor oh. who loves him. Okay. <laughs> we were in some extra dimensional nonsense, and that is explains everything. So interesting. So I guess we explain this to him. No. Yeah. So there's something a little weird going on. You know, magic. That magic. There, there's a, there's a lich down there. So who knows? Yes, yes. Yeah, you so you will inform him about, you know, the lich, like Tolf said, uh, the secret door, right? Um, the fact that the lich has been sent to his phylactery. Who knows how long? Because my sense of time is all out of whack. And anything else? Like the precise location, stuff like that. Yeah, we have the password. And the the poison gas or the you know, the maybe that had something to do with the I'm slowing down. Who knows? Poison um, gas. You mean the guards and wards? Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, or it just could be all of that um toxins. Maybe it could yeah. be that time that we uh walked in one direction and then came back that same direction from a straight line. Could be that too. Knows. Shit's out of whack down there. And um yeah, God I don't know if we want to it. tell him about where we're going. Like I think that's kind of why we're here, right? Like we want to ask him a favor, do we not? So uh just side note here. So the time was slowed down down there, and they were there for a year and a half. How long have they really been down there? Well, you do know that the better part of a day was a few hours. So, well, that begs the question. When we were told that they've been down there for a year and a half, was right. that a normal time? Right, or, or was that, yeah. Several several years, who knows? Mm. All right, and she'll also give him information on numbers. Uh, if Rion wants to mention that, um, you know, his his faction might be going down there. You know, I mean, yeah. So also, oh, did we did learn them. we did learn how many wizards should be in that city? Yeah, we got specific numbers and basic locations within the city, including that big tower and the secret door. Yeah, all things I think we would have shared with Zintarm and Lord's Alliance, you know, should they choose to believe us. You know, except for the time mess up. <laughs> yeah. Well, Lord's Alliance will probably be sending some men. I don't know about the Zintarum. <laughs> well, this is... All oh, very concerning to hear, especially with a lich down there that may easily still be reconstituted again. I, I'm frankly surprised we're even alive. Well, wow. well. <laughs> we need a vacation, that's all I'm saying. You had a vacation, you guys were gone for a few hours. Oh, Claire died, <laughs> straight up died. Oh, yeah. Uh, magic that brings people back to life. Not working as well as it used to. All right. Yeah, yeah that was close. What, what do you mean not working like it used to? Uh, we, At least well, down Tolf, there. Tolf here died, and uh, we had to revive him twice. Is Tolf just that weak? You had to bring him up and then bring him up a second time? Uh, you, this was another thing we asked the Dybbuk. It's because uh, the Red Wizards have the hand of Vecna. I see. We're telling the butlers this? 
We're telling yeah. Jarlaxle this. I was going to say. The butler's gone. I was, like, I was like, what are we doing? No, but the butler and Jarlaxle just have the same accent. I can only come up with so many accents. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> trust, trust me, I know. I've done posh pirate before. <laughs> I have scraped the bottom of that Jersey. barrel. All right, well, um, yes, I have one more favor to ask, Father. We have gained information that this hand is located in the Mirror of Dead Men to the north. The mirror is expanding. We are told that it is near the coast, the location we need to go. May we catch a ride on one of your galleons? Questions be too hard to arrange. Uh, I... Are you sure you want a galleon to bring you that close to the Mirror of Dead Men, though? If or whatever what you're saying you think is best, I don't know. Just get us down the river, or, you know, down as fast as Something fast, fast possible. something small and fast would be best. Well, I'm more so talking about if what you're saying is true, and that the Mirror of Dead Men is a lot more active than previous... Maybe roughing you guys at the Mirror of Dead Men in a ship might not be the best idea. Mm. But would it be a worse idea than marching through the entire Mirror? That mm. is fair. My map isn't loading. I, it, I was a uh, Rough time Where's marching, like, a couple hours into the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> that is that is fair. I will admit. Sure, I can get put uh, together a crew to get you close to the mirror of dead men, although you may have to take a small... Small... What's the word? Rowboat. What's the word Bell for that? Boat -ish. A yeah. sloop. Yes, a sloop. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, take a sloop over Gesundheit. to the actual land. I'm not going to endanger my own people. Or would we have it so? Any specific time when you are thinking of leaving? The sooner the better. Uh, uh, yes. Um, it would be Nice to have some assurances that uh, forces here in the city can do something with the information we've given. Will the sloop have enough room for our horses? I hope so. Like, sloops are pretty decent size. It's like a caravel, is it not? Very similar. It's like a rowboat. No. Yeah. Sloop? Sloop is, like, small, but not that small. A Let me look up an image. A sloop is... Like twice the size of a normal rowboat. I remember it's, it's like the fit. starting boat in Pirates Gold that game, <laughs> the sloop. Well, it also depends if you're where is where the is the mirror anyway? Uh, I'm I'm, I'm kind of lost. Uh, the mirror's just north. You do, do you know where Waterdeep is on that map? Yeah, up there. It's right mountain. up there. Right there. But it's only 212 miles up. I would so. say just south of Fendelver, but it's still not on the map yet. Can we maybe just get up to uh, what is, what's that say? Thorndale? Thornhold? Thornhold? Can we stop at Thornhold and just unload there and go the rest of the way? Well, we need to get basically to the middle of the mirror along the coast if I have that right. All right, so then we're not taking horses. We're, we're just... There's no way horses are going to fit in that in that boat. You could just recall them, can't you? I mean, aren't they magical? Uh, uh, you, you need to cast the spell again. I'm going to post two images of sloops. They're pretty decent size. I wasn't under the impression that they were like rowboats. Well... Uh... Uh, I'm going to be right back. Give me one second. Oh, okay. You guys can discuss what you want to do. 
I mean, Ryan's not, one, has it. Ryan's not one for you no know, overseas stuff, but I think that's probably going to be the fastest, easiest way into it. I I just don't want to sleep in the mirror of dead men. You know. Does anybody is anybody have the sailor background? No. <laughs> no. What the hell did I take? I might have. Who knows? No, you took some sort of like library one, right? No. I would never do that. Acolyte. I took Acolyte. Huh. Ooh. <clears throat> we could try uh, doing it ourselves. Go up. So those are sloops. I mean, I'm sure you could put two horses on a sloop. Yeah, but that's not fitting on a another boat. I yeah, that's that's more like a keel boat. I'm telling you, I did a Google image search. It says this is a Jamaican sloop. Right, but so we're gonna take the sloop from Waterdeep all the way up there, is what you're saying. Well, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's fair. But they're not going to. Um, they're not gonna. They're not gonna ship us up all all the way there, though. That's the problem. Why not? Because he said he doesn't want to put his men in danger. Oh, I missed that part. So just give us the boat, and we'll do. It. We'll do it. That's what I said. But nobody knows how to sail the boat. That's the problem. Well, and <laughs> yeah. Uh, so get a crash course in it. I don't know. <laughs> what, what's Sean? What's the default ability check related to navigation? Oh, uh, I mean, if you're using the Ghost of Salt Marsh rules, it's or Xanathar's whatever. There's, there's only it's just um, intelligence navigation, probably. So that would be me then. And oh. then I could, like, you know, get some guidance along the way, thanks to the cleric and the paladin, and we'll be fine. We won't <laughs> get lost. She knows what she's doing when she buys a pirate hat on the way out of town. I mean, you know what we could do is just have two rowboats. If we had two rowboats, we could fit all of us and our horses. I want a sloop now. You suggested it. I oh. So your official options from Ghosts of Saltmarsh are warship, sailing ship, rowboat, longship, keelboat, and galley. Oh, no sloop? No sloop. Sloop is What would be oh, most oh. similar to that in, in your list that you just said? Probably keelboat, the right. keelboat. A keelboat can uh, handle three crew and four passengers. All right. And I believe horses count as two passengers, which means that it's just shy of being able to take all of us and two horses. Ah, it's doable. We'll travel late. And a keelboat moves 72 miles per day. So, is that good? Is it, what's that compared to our horses doing the usual <coughs> starting the cart? Uh, that's three days to our destination. If we left water deep in a keelboat. Is that comparable to our horses? Uh, our horses are... I want to say it's comparable. Yeah. Uh, it might be a little faster. All right. I mean, the boat can continue moving during the night. I mean, it's not like it's not like a stationary object yeah. where it has to stop, you know, or a live object that needs to stop and rest. It's It can just keep sailing. Right. It's, as long as it, we're managing it, you know, at night, you know, it's fine. Yeah. yeah. Uh, boats specifically list their travel per day. Somebody That's my 19 intelligence for the night. And it's not like we could possibly have an encounter on the high seas. Impossible. 
<laughs> Thanks, buddy. Bailey, are you back? Okay, he didn't hear it. Good, he didn't hear that. <laughs> Plotting the Kraken right now. Exactly. He's just he's on another map, just building a Kraken right now. Well, this level, Inti uh, did that to us, roughly. Yeah. Uh yeah, actually, I actually I think we were one level lower. Uh, we had some help, but whatever. But we had some yeah, help. Yeah, we had a freaking armada with us, some giants. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. To be to be fair though, it was really only one giant helping us against the Kraken. Everyone else was fighting mooks. I don't remember too much. All I remember from that battle is that I was super disappointed because I casted one of the cleric spells. Paul has it. It's the control water, I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then my intended effect was like nothing what I expected, and I was just kind of bummed out. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you did something. You did something to that boat. I'm sure we all, like contributed but you know it's just one of those things where i didn't really understand the spell so good like my understanding is much better now you guys yeah. did something i didn't do much of anything nicholas didn't do a whole lot yeah. because um melee attacks from an airship <laughs> i did do that big uh radiant one you know where you can move it 60 feet and it's like a huge radius of radiant energy the dawn yeah. dawn you know yeah dawn. I, also, I also remember uh, in that one, in that fight, uh, the enemies meteor swarmed all our friends. I don't remember that. I remember Paul which, did which his usual, was... like, Hexblade's Curse, and then, like, did a whole bunch of Eldritch Blasts. I remember that. We were on an airship, you know... and there were four ships down on the sea. Okay. And All right, well, I have a second, people. I just want to remind everybody that our podcast here is is brought to you by Anchor, powered by Spotify. If you want to do your own podcasts and uh, try to upload it to a good site, well, Anchor's got got it for you. They can upload your uh, music, your ad, individual ad sales within your podcast, the podcast itself, edit the stacks all together, and put that right online. And it'll be available on uh, Google Podcasts, Spotify itself, and other uh, and Apple Podcasts, and Apple Play. Um, so check them out. It's Anchor by Spotify. So shout out to them. You guys talking about the uh, Kraken fight? Storm. Yeah, yeah, we were talking about that Kraken fight. We, we're, we're, we're joking that, oh, well, you know, Ellie's out and out, put together a Kraken uh, stack. <laughs> we'll be zombie, in a small sleep. Zombie Kraken's a list of ideas. Oh, oh God. Damn. Jesus. <laughs> Why? If you're going to make him a zombie, I mean, at least use the juvenile Kraken stat block. That's a thing, right? The zombie it's a thing. Kraken. Juvenile Kraken? I've never heard of that. It's in Ghosts of Saltmarsh. It's like CR10. Oh. So, Bailey, we got it all figured out. We found a boat. Sean found a boat that's comparable to a sloop. It has statistics and speed and all that stuff. So, yeah, we'd like keel, to borrow that. A keel boat, which can take all of us and one horse. Unless you count the horse's cargo, in which case it can take all of us and two horses. <laughs> yeah, come on, cargo. Or one of them cargo. How about that? Well, you also have your own car potential cargo, because you got the entire cart. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we can carry on the keelboat... Um, Uh, a thousand pounds of cargo. So two rions, gotcha. Okay. That's Again, it's all the fur. Cargo. I'm just saying. <laughs> that does <clears throat> not include passengers or crew. Uh, and it's uh, it travels 72 miles a day, so it's like three Holy days. Shit. Yeah. 
So it's a day That's... shorter. It's almost half the time, because going by land, you guys are going like 40-something miles a day. I mean, you want to know the part that's actually insane about that? What? Uh, that's the same travel speed as a rowboat. <laughs> what? Yeah. We, it's if we just ship, though, isn't it? Uh, a keelboat is... I mean, they have it as gargantuan, but it's a pretty small ship. I mean, it's a ship that can only carry seven people. Right, but it has, like, a sail and shit. Uh, yeah, it has a sail. It's the most comparable we thought to a sloop, so it kind of right, looks yeah, like the images right. I posted. And it can be outfitted with a ballista, if we want that. I don't know that we do. And it may or may not have, like, a contained area where one could maybe, like, sleep with a roof? Who knows? I have no idea. Well, if we're going to face a undead kraken, I think we probably want the ballista. Probably that may or may not attack us on the high but... seas. <laughs> yeah, uh, so the keelboat has one room that usually is it's big enough for about two people to sleep at a time. What does Paul well, think? Because I haven't heard from Paul. <laughs> it is her father's boat. She would like to sleep inside, of course. Just need a place to. Um, I have some uh, have some spells to transcribe, so this would be the perfect time to do it. Oh. Yeah, I also have spells to transcribe and scrolls to create. So, so long as you can, you know, weather the like rolling seas in your handwriting and all, I think that would actually work for everybody. Yeah, everybody that wants to write scrolls and such. All right, cool. Uh, who's driving the boat? Oh, uh, oh shoot! Yeah, I can't drive it. Rayon will drive it. Just hire, just hire a crew. Just, we're, we're water deep. Just hire a crew. Well, we yeah, oh, don't have room for a crew. Yeah, we'll get uh, a bigger boat. Get a bigger boat. <laughs> now we gotta look for another boat. <laughs> I, I asked for a galleon, and he was like, "No." We couldn't have afford well, a galleon no, if you, we wanted to. Definitely well, also, could be a galleon, but it. The crew isn't going to want to go near the near dead men, is what I was getting at. The point of I, also, I'm said. pretty sure the point of getting a keel boat is so that we don't have to take a crew. Well, how many can people we... can fit on it? Uh, seven. So there's only four of us. Hey, but who's going to drive the? We don't know how to sail. There's no sailors here. So the All other right, people would be a crew that we hire out of Waterdeep to sail and help sail this? us there. We, we just take the galleon. The crew comes with us as close as they're comfortable. We get in a rowboat and we head the rest of the way. And then I can That's just teleport saying. us yeah. back. Yeah. And if we just do two rowboats, two or three rowboats, that should be enough for us sure. and all the horses. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's do that. Is he cool with that? Yeah. Worked. All right. Because we're probably going to have to hit this place from, quote unquote, the water. If the mirror dead men is expanding out past over the road, that means it's got to be the center of it's got to be deep enough for a boat or something to get into it. So we are going to be assaulting whatever this place is, quote unquote, by water. <laughs> I just actually on that note, um, it might be prudent for those of us who can cast, say, some kind of water breathing spell to have that learned or prepared you know just in case there is an undead kraken i tried like i tried to actually buy water breathing last time like we can spend a little bit more time and look for a different shop i wouldn't mind doing that because you're overseas uh, yeah, water 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 water. Water. <laughs> it's more, less likely to be in a school i'm sure the bar party has lots of gold <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah sure Oh, Somewhere. by the way, I borrowed 200 from Group Loot, and I borrowed 300 from Volt. Look at my fancy new armor, she says. Oh, yeah, it looks as good as, looks almost as good as mine. <laughs> All right. So, are you guys getting, are you guys going to try to see if you're going to find a water breathing potion or scroll before heading out or not? What do you guys think? Scroll would be ideal. Yeah, one, b both, either both, or at least a scroll, yeah. All right. 
right, roll me percentile. Uh, who I'll hasn't roll rolled one, one yet tonight? <laughs> That'd be me. Go ahead. 20. Well, we're, we have every single one of them is wow. below 35. Maybe low is good. No. <laughs> <not> good. <laughs> no. You are able to find a single potion of water breathing. Oh. All right. I mean, um, how much? It's a hundred gold pieces. Uh, damn, I can't even cover that on my own. <laughs> yeah, we're running low on gold. I'll buy it. I'll take the I'll take the water breathing thing. Appreciate doing business with you, uh, sir. Yes. <laughs> He probably doesn't see too many Leonin. I'm sh I guess he doesn't know whether or not uh, female Leonin have manes. <laughs> or I'm if her. he's be considered a sir. Oh, or if he's cons I mean, yeah. Um, Bailey, she would also like on our way out to uh, do two quick things. First, this ring of spell storing. She needs to drop it off at a magical item repair shop. She <laughs> explains to the... That sounds uh, awesome. Can she find one at this shop? There are definitely magic shops as for... Although for magic repairing, it's not very common that magic items break or crack or anything. For sure. Like, she'll go uh, maybe to the Temple of Gond with all of them gnomes and smart artificers, and she'll try to find someone or some organization. Is that possible? It's definitely possible. All right. Um, not going to be cheap. Gotcha. <laughs> she's, she's willing to leave it as collateral. Like, she explains, you know, and he can identify it, or she, whoever it is, can identify that it is a very powerful item, the Ring of Spell Storing. However, she points to this little crack. It is malfunctioning. Can you fix it? She asks. We can fix pretty much anything. Um, although it's going to take time and resources. We'll say 500 gold pieces even. Oh, man. I need to borrow more money. <laughs> Great. Oh, uh, we're done. We're uh, done. Like, like we've said... Uh, uh, leave it as collateral, pay it when we get back. I will also leave this mace of um, Lightbringer if the party is okay, because my plan is to leave this, and then I can attune to the other longsword that we have, the Crystal Blade, which I actually really like. So, is that cool? That I've never, I've never seen so many magical items be sold <laughs> before. <laughs> God. She's, not, she's not selling it, she's just leaving it as collateral. With the ring. Does, does and Rayon I guess, have, uh, how does much Rayon do you, have a... Yeah. Hmm? How, much, how much does Harley have in gold at the moment? 12 gold and 10 silver, sir. <laughs> that is perfect. So you add 10, I'll add 90. We can give him 100 in down, down payment. Oh, I want to buy something with my 12 gold. <laughs> <laughs> That's my the other God. thing I want to do. That's the other thing I want to do. Hold, can I borrow another 10 gold? No. Please? No. Rayon, can I borrow 10 gold, please? Why? Your, your, your credit score is absolute shit there, yeah, Harley. Zero. You're, you're, yeah, you, you blew your credit score. It's done. So let me ask a question to Rayon. Do you have a, a weapon that does blunt damage? No. Just in case we get... The only weapon I have is the dang sword. It is a magical longsword, you well, know. Except for, well, my between... claws are technically a weapon, but, you know. The difference right. between blunt and slashing magical isn't that different. Yeah, but if you're going against undead, it is. Eh, if you're going against skeletons. Skeletons, skeletons yeah. All right. All right, never mind. Yeah, sure. Put it down as collateral. All right. Oh, right you were talking collateral. about the Dawnbringer for, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Rayon, I gave you three bottles of gold, if you don't recall. I haven't saved your life yet, but can I borrow ten gold, please? Three bottles of gold? No, I, I, I gave you three bottles of wine. Sorry, my mistake. Yeah, because we needed... Oh, I needed that for to get out of another jam. Um, 
Ten gold, you said? Yes. Fine. Yep, and I'll take 90 off of my sheet, put down 100 as down payment. I will be back in a fortnight to pick up this ring. And I'm contributing to this mostly because uh, last time that thing went wild, Adrian was quite pissed. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, what happened means... again? I forget. Uh, oh. He tried to uh, he tried to cast something from it to uh, kill the lich. Right. Uh, and then it just cast mirror image. Magic. Yeah, it was magic <laughs> missiles. <laughs> That's right. The magic missiles would have softened him up enough for the rogue to get the kill. Yeah. All right. Well, I would like to make one more stop, if that's okay. I am going back to the leather worker, or a different leather worker. I would like to buy two items, a pirate hat and a leather eye patch of high quality. Oh, my God. That's what the 10 <laughs> gold is for? I have 12 gold. I will spend all of it. God. Yet, yeah, Harley really does spend like a rich girl, doesn't she? Yep. Yep. Uh, How many credit cards are they going to max out there, Harlequin? Oh, I've, I'm, I'm keeping tabs. I will pay back. A Lannister always <laughs> pays his debt. I mean, I think you've maxed out at least two cards at this point. <laughs> are you? Are you spend? Do you want to buy whatever you can with the twelve gold pieces, or do you want to limit? Yeah, that? like honestly, the the pirate hat is just for fun. I'll spend like a like a gold or whatever. But the eye patch, I would like a very beautiful leather. Black leather eye patch with little gems. They don't have to be like you know, like worth anything. Just you know, something nice for eleven gold. But you don't you know need what? an eye patch. Uncle you Fuzz. might. You could. I'm a pirate. No well, pirates have you, eye patches. We're you going. Find, to... You're not, you don't see me trying to get a peg leg. Or sorry, a galleon. <laughs> we're going a galleon. So the eye patch actually was for when you go below deck, so at least one of your eyes is yep. adjusted to light difference. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly what it was for. Yeah. All right. Is there such so a thing? You, yeah. So you don't um, lose your night vision. Also, Jarl Axel has an eye patch. So I mean. Yeah. That's true. Oh, yeah, I forgot to ask you for a present. Damn it. You. We, uh. They. Of course, we can get you a uh, decent hat and a. With and a eye patch with some small gems, on the it's outside. One. I imagine it's one of the eye patches that uh, we sold. It is not made of leather skin uh, from elves. <laughs> the one from uh, the bugbear prince or whatever. Um, okay, cool. It, like, is it possible to have nice little blue sapphire or something like semi-precious? Some small ones, yeah. They're going to be very small considering yeah, okay. it's like 10 gold pieces under the spending on it, but yes. Yeah. All right. Cool. Real, real, uh, real rhinestones made out of plastic. That <laughs> <laughs> you just put a coin in a machine and you turn it and you get it. All right. Cool. Let's head to the high seas as she puts on her pirate hat. Hey, let's head out. So, um, the earliest that, that Joel Exo can get a uh, crew together on such short notice is that night. Would you like to head out that night, or will you, or do you want to wait until the next day? Uh, I mean, Harley just did a lot of shopping. <laughs> yeah, I want to get out of here. And a lot of that shopping that Harley just did required finding specialty people. <laughs> I feel like that would take a while. Yeah. So what, do we wait until the morning? What are we doing? Well, it's... When you when you left to relax, so let's say it was around five o'clock, the earliest that he can get the crew together would be about ten. That's probably the earliest that we can get all our shopping done, anyway. Yeah. Mm. So you want to leave at ten at night, or do you want to wait until the morning? I don't think much is going to change between night and morning there. Yeah, probably not. Uh, yeah. I'm good with oh. whatever. Start heading out. Um, gotta go a decent amount out from the coast, and then you can head up. 
A galleon, by the way, is 96 miles a day. Nice. So you can get there in just under three days. Yeah. All right, go. Somebody roll me a percentile for the first day. Uh, who hasn't rolled yet? I think everybody has at this point. Oh. Well, back to the top. I guess that would be whoever did it first. That was me. All right, something better than a 21. Yeah. Oh, also the shit. <laughs> well, divine intervention there, cleric. Wow. I know. That's what I should have did, divine intervention. You we've know what's never really had a, funny? We've, we've I was never had a roll that you say roll a one and you get the undead, uh, <laughs> the undead crack. We've never, I don't think anybody's ever rolled that low. Is oh Leo back God. yet? I don't think Leo's back yet. Oh, did Tolv take his uh, level, his, a third level in wizard? No, I took another level in cleric. Actually, um, Talison. Have... Talison okay, yeah. Jaffe rolled a two to what bring back his cleric? previous yeah, character from the campaign. I, I am a tenth, a tight tenth level cleric now. Oh, well, you got that feature, the call upon your deity or whatever. Ten yeah, percent so chance. Well, he rolled look, a look three. Look what I rolled. Look what I rolled. What? Oh, is that what? What? <laughs> you got it. Oh, that was for her. That was for our encounter. Oh my god. That was a percentage. Well, he tried to say, oh my god, but it didn't work. Yeah. Well, gosh, you it, because you got some downtime. You might as well use it and try to pray for some something cool. There's no, there's no Save using. that for your port. Then you could get a quad yeah. like I did. <laughs> I didn't roll my portent. Wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. Let Could me... you roll a portent and make that your roll no. for your deity? No. It's no, a D20. no. Come on. It is I not rolled... a skill check or any of that. So I no. rolled All to right. try to get that divine thing like a million times, and then I finally... And then I rolled it for you. Remember? That's I rolled another it one you. where I was like, oh, a quaddle? <laughs> I, I mean, you know... Yeah, no, I... Alright, anyway, I rolled a three, so what are we, what are we I... facing? Three Koatoa. one second. Three Koatoa with basic spears, we kill them. Oh, you know what you could do? If you, you could uh, call for uh, assistance and then just drop down a hallow spell. You know, call for the god to hallow this land. Yeah, I don't know, like, the wording, it, I don't know. Hallow works. No, I mean, like, uh, the wording of the thing? Paul, do you have it written down in your sheet somewhere? Yeah, just give me a second. Hold on, I was uh, yeah, just yeah. rolling my portent. Oh. Uh, four and a 15. Yeah. Four and a 15. I don't know why it says over here on the thing, it says three and a 19. I'm trying to figure that out. That's D&D &D Beyond for you. Oh, uh, they're gonna be so uh, awesome! No, no, because because the three was your oh. D one hundred. Yeah, I'm sorry. In the nineteen. Yeah, four and a fifteen. Yeah, never mind. It's been a long, 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 long. I actually, I actually have that on my uh, browser window. The uh, D and D Beyond thing. But. Got gotcha. you. Hook, line, and sinker. Well, no, I was gonna be. I was gonna try a campaign out with somebody, and they kicked me out without telling me. <laughs> so I was like, "Oh, okay, then be that way." <laughs> All right. <laughs> that, yeah. Wow. Yeah, built up a campaign, everything, got a character for them, and all, and then they're like, "Nope." <laughs> I'm like, and they didn't even tell me; they just kicked me out. I was like, I got "Oh, thanks." That bit. Divine intervention. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Anyway, so, guys. On the horizon, about midday through the first day, or I guess through the second day, because you guys started at, um, at night. So did we get a long rest? Because that's important because I need spells. Yes. I need to change up a spell. 
Yes, you right. do. So give me a minute. Paul uh, said sending. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, I need to take sending, so I need to do 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 do. Uh, let's unprepare something. Note that Ryan's looking browner than usual from being back on the high seas again. Not green, but brown? Greener, you mean? Well, green plus orange or brown makes deep, darker brown, so... <laughs> so uh, what was weird. that? Uh, what was that area of the dead? Uh, where was that main hall at? In, um, what was in it called? The City of the Dead? So, City of the Dead. So I'm going to send a... Uh, uh, Message to Drizzt uh, as first my first opportunity, and I'm going to say, um, Brown, Red Wizards, Encampment. Shut the hell up. <laughs> <laughs> See, you Siri was about? answering your message. Yeah, I know, right? I uh, was Drizzt. Jesus. Anyway, um, Brown, Red Wizard, Red Wizard, Stronghold. Um, under City Dead, uh, look for Banhole. Um, and we did mark it pretty specifically. Okay, yeah, marked Banhole. Uh, I don't know if, was there an area maybe I could have been a little bit more? Um, uh, let me pull up water area. You might also want to include the fact that there's a lich down there. Yeah. If, if you have the words. Yeah, I th I'm only at 10 right now, so well, it depends on where. Hold on. Uh, let me see. Before I do it, I'll just count them out, right? So how many? You got. Harley's going to open one of her 10 bottles of Red Wizard wine. <laughs> Oh, you know what's actually more expensive than playing a wizard? Um, 25 words. Playing a player? No. Playing an, any kind of... Uh, any character that wants to use alchemist tools. Mm, like using alchemist fire yeah. and shit? Yeah. I don't know. Had Zaz 2 actually worked out as intended, you know, being a poisoner in a uh, giant campaign that could have been very expensive. Uh, well, oh yeah, poisoners also just generally expensive. <laughs> However, while you're putting that together, Paul, um, midway through the first day, you notice a very large storm coming from uh, coming your way from the north. Ah, you know what? Here's what you do with the divine intervention. You ask for the weather to change. <laughs> <laughs> he wants stormy weather for his fucking lightning bolt thing. This is true. Yeah. But we're not fighting anything. <laughs> but yeah, there is a very large storm coming directly for you guys. It seems like it's coming from the north. Oh, that's great for Volt. He loves storms. Uh, it's not for, great for anybody on a ship. Yeah. Or is it great for Ryan, especially? So, <laughs> store cleric guy, you want to roll for that uh, divine intervention now? Or do you have I'm a spell? Really. Do you have a spell that could solve this problem or something? Um, not really. That spell is mean... eighth level. Yeah, that's an eighth level yeah. druid spell. <laughs> it it is also a cleric spell. Ah, uh, well, yeah. Oh. Control weather. Yeah. yeah. Um, what if we just um, put a Liam and tiny hut on the ship? <laughs> <laughs> That's not gonna help with the ship goes off from underneath it. I mean, I like. What happens if a Liam and tiny hut gets capsized? Does it just create a bubble of air? As you sink. That's interesting. Or does it float? Because of the air stuck underneath? 
Oh, I wouldn't. Yeah. I would. I would not lo- allow that much physics into your magic. Well, I mean, it, um, it, I mean, if you turn it right. up upside down, you stick it in the water. There's still an air pocket there, right? Is that the same thing? To... Like, like that one scene in that one Pirates of the Caribbean movie? Yeah, exactly. That's no, actual sure real physics. There is okay, no so way. Pay, so pay no attention to that. Anyway, what were you saying, uh, Toll? Yeah, I want to send it. Uh, I send a message to Drizzt, basically saying uh, we found the stronghold um, in the city of the dead. Uh, manhole marked bitch in city. Careful, you may reply to this message. Yeah, I don't know what to do about the storm. Like, I was thinking, like, I didn't mean to press on it, but I was thinking I could do just, like, a big row of these 10-foot by 10-foot panels above us and then just recast it again after 10 minutes ahead of us. You know what I mean? We just sort of go underneath. We just ride ride the storm out. That's what the Vikings would do. That's what we're going to do. Yeah, just got to... I mean, none of us are really sailors who have the instinct to to look at a storm and see how bad it's going to be or we're on the galleon though right the galleon's pretty tough which has a crew of sailors yeah all right let's ride it out and if i need to use this wall of force so be it um paul for his response he says i'll look into it further appreciate it check back in oh, i'll check back in within a few days. As for the storm going out, uh, yeah, the crew calls on you guys to help with, you know, manning the sails and whatnot. They need some extra strength in order to hold the sail down and get them tied down. I want everybody to either make me an athletics or acrobatics check. That was a 23. Fuck that's you. The, that's the minimum I can roll, by the way. I know. <laughs> yeah, that was a 6. Oh. Oops. I... Wait, could I, if I succeeded that, could I silvery barbs myself knowing that I can't get a lower number? How does silvery barbs work? Can you target yourself with the disadvantage? Natural 20 for Uh, 28. I mean, if I can't, Harley can to give herself advantage. I see Adrian succeed quite dexterously. I cast silvery barbs. Sure. All right, I'll take off the spell. That, that feels like a very Harley thing to try and steal someone else's success. <laughs> it does. <laughs> Silver bars. Another natural one. All right, here we go. Acrobatics. Give him a four. Ooh, twenty-one. <laughs> Adrian, are you having problems? Uh, twenty-three is the lowest I can roll. <laughs> roll it. I, I mean, okay, I'll roll it. And I might get higher. Nope, 23. 23. Oh. Reliable talent, man. All right. Yeah, you guys are able to man the man the sails, get everything tied down along with the sailors so that you don't, you know, get fucked up by the storm. Um, and after the initial burst of the storm, it does it does kind of tamper down to it's a heavy rain, but the what the wind is a lot less. Right. Next, the next day, somebody else roll me a percentile. Uh, going down the list is that uh, saber. Is my moving sending? Right. Moving sending, got it. Oh my god, what is up with these rolls? It is the highest highest on a D one hundred we've rolled is a thirty two. Yeah. 
You get yeah. a roll six. Well, it, it, as soon as he says, oh, you need a low roll, we'll, we'll roll like 90s. <laughs> it's like, you need a low roll. 100. Yeah. <laughs> All right. It's still it's still definitely raining hard, but nothing of note for this day. Even on the last day of your trip, somebody roll me a percentile. Well, I guess it's me next. Yep. All right, here we go. Oh, all of your low rolls. Look at this. Uh, 56. There we go. Had to come eventually. Storm lightens up a bit, but it's definitely still storming. Well, it is uh, Toll's favorite weather. Yep. <laughs> That told you straight up thunderstorm. Make sure you have call lightning prepared. It's auto auto prepared. So always prepared. <laughs> and whoever has the highest perception, roll me perception check real quick. Probably the cleric. I probably. Yeah. Uh, let's see perception. I only got a nine. Oh, <laughs> only a nine. Oh, I have as it is, like only a nine. Still, I still haven't rolled anything above a 10, so. There you go, that's above a 10 with the modifier. <laughs> yeah. You do notice that there's, what's the word? You notice above the, above the mirror of dead men that it seems like there's some sort of tornado cyclone looking thing. However, it seems as if what's what's the word for it? You have a have you guys seen Star Wars the Clone Wars by chance? Uh, <laughs> yes. some of it. Yeah. Anytime that there's a large force field that comes from one area and it kind of pours out. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's what's going on here. Except into the storm. It's probably where we're headed. Yeah. That storm that passed over by my place uh, the other week, by the way, uh, was a cyclone, and I was in the eye of it. Cyclone? Hurricane cyclones that's, are that's in the... Why I, no, no. There's cyclones and hurricanes, too. Um, no, I mean, uh, it, a cyclone that... Uh, um, or... It, it was a swirling storm that maybe I'm thinking could of like have a, been a typhoon. tornado. Maybe I'm but, thinking typhoon is in the Pacific. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, did the crew uh, kind of ditch us at this point into these little dinghies? Yeah, no. They're staying 10 miles off the coast. All right. Onward! And she has her pirate cap on. So how, many, how many robots do we got? You got two. You got two? We've got horses in the rowboats. <laughs> yep. One each. As well as enough supplies to last you a decent portion of time. You head into the mirror of dead men. Where do you guys go? Uh, well, I you mean, know I we guess need the to head for that. The question is do we see a tower? Yeah, you guys see a tower. It seems to be a few miles in, but yes, you do. I that's guess that's where we're heading. Pretty much directly in front of you. Yep. How how is the water like? How is the land? Is it like marshy? What's is it, it is very, like... it is marshy marshy. Yes. All right. Uh, yeah. Me. I think. Give me a second. I'm going to take care of this. Oh. Yeah. Just give me a second. One, your seconds uh, up. Yeah. Well, Come on, man. Derek's thinking I cast Polymorph on the rogue and we all hop on the giant alligator's back. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have a I have a ritual spell that we could do. So I was I was just gonna try and lead us through uh, the through the marshes. 
So I'm going to take 10 minutes. Uh, or, yeah, this is a ritual, right? A water walk. Uh, oh, yeah, that'll... That's that'd be. Handy. I thought I was gonna make a joke. But yeah. That's so Pelican so asks, uh, "Who is going to hold this one potion of water breathing? Should we draw straws?" She asks. I bought it. I have it. How's uh. that for you? <laughs> yeah, ten yeah, willing creatures. So I could actually cast it on the on the uh, horses as well. Uh, yeah. Four of us. Two yeah. horses. Three familiars. <laughs> oh no, the familiars really don't need it. Uh, so crab. Well, and crab can swim. It's a ritual, so it's going to last an hour. And let's go. All right. Can't the crab swim faster than it can walk, anyways? Same speed. Oh, okay. I thought you did bat. Remember, you chose bat. Uh, oh, it's a bat now. It's not a crab. Oh it's yeah, a bat. it's a bat. That's right. Because you tried to do that thing where you popped it up 60 feet or something, remember? Right, so it's a bat. It's a bat until it dies. All right. Hey. Arr, let's go. (laughs) (laughs) One moment. I mean, might as well give it to the familiars, since we can. Well, it takes like 10 minutes and like six seconds per cast. Well, no, 10 creatures, four of us, two horses, three familiars. That's only nine. He's going to be doing that like all the time, over and over and over. Same thing if you did polymorph, right? I mean, less we could. I mean, or I could just try and get these rowboats into the marsh. Try and navigate. I might just polymorph myself into an alligator. I mean, water <laughs> walk is water just... walk right now. I know, I know. I don't want to be a stinky alligator anyways. What's your passive perception again, uh, Toll? It was 19? E- something like that. Give me a sec. Yeah, 19. And are you guys taking your horses into the marsh as well, or are you, what are you doing with them? I would like. <laughs> the horses are water walked as well. Yeah, the horses. Yeah, the are horses are water walked. Yeah, the, the horses are are channeling their inner unicorn. Go ahead and move you to this map. I, I imagine the horses are hesitant for like a couple seconds. I'm gonna refresh. It's being really laggy. I horses water walking. I imagine at first it's like Bambi on ice. Can be on do you want me to re-roll my portents, Bailey, or do you just want to leave those four and a fourteen? I'm going to re-roll them. Let's keep it consistent. Okay, sounds fair. Oh, yeah, I had to bring Ryan and Harlequin to the foreground. <laughs> Look the what I rolled. Same numbers. <laughs> same numbers, but backwards. <laughs> Yeah, I'm up backwards. Wow. Poor dude. All right. So you start heading, you're heading into the Mirror of Dead Men towards this tower that seems as if there's something coming out of it that may be causing the storm. And then you hear howling around you. What's your guys' first reaction? Like Truly. a like a or like a oh, undead howling. Yes. I'm okay with that. Uh, does it sound like um, a hunting howl? Roll survival. Oh, survival! Did somebody put the rain of sound effects in here? Expertise. Who is that? I. Nobody's thing is lighting up with the. And now it's gone. Okay. Well, it's gone. Yeah. Okay, that was weird. That was we- that was cool though. I didn't mind it, but. 
<laughs> what, what does the rogue think? Um, first off, these howls are coming from all around you, oh. except from the direction of the water. So there's so, not something in the And they seem to be coming closer. Ah. All of the Gathas. Um, I want to cast a couple spells if I can. I'll allow a spell. Um, well, if it's only going to be one spell, then let's do fourth level aid on myself. Um, Ray. And who's the third one that usually gets it? Rayon. Yeah, and Rayon. Rayon. Gets the, that one. So that'll be 15 temporary hit points. Well, yeah. All right, cool. Um, can you put our horses to the back there, Billy? Oh, yeah. I would like to cast Armor of Agathis, fifth level. Let's rock. Uh, what, what time of day is it? Mm, or it's about... Rather- it's- it's a little bit past midday. Okay, or rather, how bright is it outside? Is it just bright? It's not bright, because there's a lot of cloud cover. Dim? Is it dim light? Is it mm. bright light, but not bright? <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, I would say it's it's bright to where you, it, doesn't, it doesn't hinder sight. However, things that... Um, have like sunlight and sensitivity also are hindered. Okay, so sense. it's the curse of straw deal. Sure. <laughs> it's the curse of straw deal where it's bright light, but it's not sunlight, even though it's from the sun. Adrian's bat is Wayne. I don't know who. who I didn't who did do that. that. It wasn't me. I sincerely doubt that, but whatever. Guys. Uh, Ray or Rayon, are you casting anything? Uh, pre-casting here? Hmm. Yeah, I'll cast. Uh... Don't forget, it gets transferred to your horse. Whatever you cast, if it ca- if it's on yourself, I mean, you know. I will actually because I just want. Um, what time of the day is it? At midday. Midday. So just it's... midday. Yeah. Okay, so that's not going to do anything. Um, let's do, yeah, let's do haste. Okay. And Adrian, anything? Uh, Adrian's just readying himself. He doesn't actually think any spells are worth casting at the moment. I was maybe thinking of Shadow Blade if it was dark out. Right. Well, it does get noticeably darker. You notice some for some reason. You know how like if a cloud comes over, it gets noticeably darker. Yes. Like, that is exactly what happens. And as you look up, there are a few. Um. There are, there are a few different smaller clouds about... Let's see. Let me, let me double-check something real quickly in one second. Oh, we're busting out with haste. Yeah, it transfers to his horse, so. Yeah. Same with armor of Agathis. Fine steed is excellent. Fine steed You're is welcome. amazing. Gotta get that ring fixed. I want to give it to my homunculus. Oh, I forgot to cast homunculus. Um, Toll, you're gonna recognize the spell anyway. How high up does uh, Call Lightning have to be? Um, I was looking at it, and I think one of the sources I've been using is wrong. It's up to 100 feet up. 
Sure. You notice a few different clouds popping up above you. Or up to 120, something like that. Yeah. And I need. Uh, we'll, we'll show. We'll show what this thing is before we roll for an issue. Forget the initiative tracker. Oh, I know. You shift Zine first. Ooh! Oh, that... The hell is that? That looks like some sort of... Got horns. It's got horns. got kind of a... Well, it's obviously undead. Very good artwork. Probably the best I've seen so far. Dude, do you have, like, the original picture of this somewhere on the website? So I can blow that up. Or for later when I need a cover picture. <laughs> Let me grab a picture real quick off of without having the stat block. So Bailey, I forgot that I, I took create homunculus. Could I have cast it like the day before we left? Sure. That's fine. Okay, cool. I posted the picture in discord. Thank you for that. For so... a better picture of it. There you go, folks. Wow. Oh, here comes my homunculus. Robin. Oh. Actually, no, I know what Adrian would have casted. He would have casted Mage Hand. Oh, fair enough. All right, oh, everybody, roll me initiative. Whew. God. My homunculus and bat are flying up. 20 feet default. Jesus Christ. Yes. Now you know why I hate fucking rolling this. <laughs> Did you roll a one? <laughs> As usual, she cast Gift of Alacrity at the beginning of the day. Initiative! Oh, ten. Oh, hey. You've got it set so that it doesn't reveal the creature's name when you roll initiative now. Oh, it's just I knew how to do it. It's just deleting the name on the actual sheet. Is that, there's there's a more, there's a different way to do it that's, I find better. Oh, well, that that's the one that I know and it's pretty easy, so don't, we're sticking with that. Shut up. <laughs> anyway, who's going first? Looks like Adrian. Although I need to order this. Do I do that again? Then everybody else. Uh, and then in the game. There yeah, there you go. Uh, yeah, that thing's in my range. Really? Sure about that? Uh, 600 feet. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Which one are you shooting at? Uh, let's see, there's... Uh, Let's see, I think Ryan's got that one, Harley's got that one. I'm shooting at the one on the bottom. Hey, go ahead. How far are they again? Oh, they dash towards you guys. So they're on the map, like where they are? Yep. Okay. And that was against the bottom one, correct? Against the bottom one, yes. Mm -hmm. I, I just assumed that a 26 hit. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, 100%. Uh, how the fire days, I'm going to get a, get a creature where the higher you roll, the less likely you are to hit. <laughs> uh, like one of those materials where the harder you hit, or if you hit it really hard, it turns solid, but if you poke it, yeah. it's liquid. How's the fire look on that thing, by the way? It takes fire damage. Okay, good. Uh, so what is that, a total of 38? 38? All right. Now these things. Let's see. Let's see how they do. We're gonna head towards you. Not and even see that one. Towards you. And towards you. And. We're going to use our bonus actions. 
And I just did that to GM, didn't I? No, you didn't. Oh. Fall the storm. Prowler howls as a bonus action, summoning a storm cloud above itself that can it can direct as, as per the call lightning spell. In addition, it can use its bonus action on each turn, uh, each of its turns while concentrating on the spell to target itself with a bolt of lightning. That, or itself. That's kind of scary. Uh, Toll's going to be very ineffectual this fight, I can see. <laughs> <laughs> Which is exactly what I'm going to do. However, with the area of call lightning, Harlequin, Clip Flop, and Tulv are also going to have to make the dexterity saving throws if I am. Target itself? Yeah. Yeah. All three of you are going to make dexterity saving throws as well. Harley and the horse are doing dex? Is that what you're saying? Yep. Okay. Ooh. Something tells me Booming Blade isn't going to work very well. Well, Booming Blade is thunder. It's not lightning. But, yeah. It might. Yeah. Who knows? I mean, these seem to be some sort of storm callers. Um, Dex. Here we go. <clears throat> 17 for the horse. Yes. All three of you succeed. So you take half of... Oh, uh, that time I rolled the DM. There we go. Half of 21. So 10 damage each. Ooh, I cannot take 10 damage. I am going to further have that reaction. Absorb elements. Are you sure? That was yeah. the bonus action. Oh, ooh, yes. No, I will not. I will take the damage. What you guys see... On top of them striking themselves with the electricity. Whenever it is subjected to lightning damage, it takes no damage. Instead, it regains half points equal to half the damage dealt, teleports up to 30 feet, and makes a claw attack. Oh, oh shoot. On their bonus action. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> and I'm guessing <laughs> since there's this many of them, I'm guessing they also have pack tactics. They actually do not. Oh, I'm actually surprised, yeah, that, actually. That would be way too po overpowered. <laughs> so he gains 10 hit points. And we're going to make an attack against Adrian, an attack against Harlequin, and an attack against Rayon. Adrian, Harlequin, and Rayon. I don't think any of those hit, do they? Nope. All right. Then we're going to do our regular multi-attack. And claw won't the bite. Against Adrian first. Bam, bam. 17 hit? I doubt it. No. Against Harlequin. Bam, bam. The, wow, my rolls are sucking. I have a plus eight. And. He dodges them all. And Rayon. There we go. 27 and uh, 21. Jesus Christ. Yeah, the 27 <laughs> hits. For nine slashing and six lightning damage. Brown, what would you like to do? I'm going to uh, attack this thing back, actually. So, first attack. 23 to hit. 23 is a hit. For 10 slashing. Alright. Second one, a 17. A 17 is a hit as well. For another 13. Alright. Third attack, 28 to hit, for another 9 slashing. Hey. And then the horse is going to kick with its hooves. 15 for a hit, 15? 15 is a hit. Uh, how do I roll it for this one? Is it magical damage? It's a magical. Mm. It's creatures summoned by magic. I don't know. Creatures summoned by magic don't necessarily do magic damage. There are specific class features that let you do that. Okay, okay so, so it's resistant against that then. 
resistant. Okay, that's fine. That's its first attack, so second attack. And the second to hoof attack. Oh, second hoof attack for 19 to hit for another 9 bludgeoning damage. Alright. And then... Um... I'm the frontliner, and we're kind of surrounded, so I guess they're going to stand my guard, I guess. <laughs> so, bonus action. Oh, yeah, you have to make, like, what is that, five, uh, one more. Give me with the... It hit oh, you five times, right yeah. Oh, you cast haste, that's right. Yeah. Speaking of haste, you need to make a con save against that. Oh, yeah, well. Yeah, that's actually a really important one, though. I don't think you're going to fail. 17? No. no. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, the last one, he uh, drops his concentration on the <coughs> lightning. Nice. Oh, excellent. Excellent. That's what I was hoping for. All right. And uh, now I'm just going to hold my ground. So uh, bonus action. What can I do for bonus action? <laughs> uh, that's... Well, you know what? Why not? Daunting Roar. <laughs> Just in case. Um, um, I... They are immune to Frighten. Yeah, well, then I wouldn't know. I, I know I gave them, I gave them a few condition immunity, uh, immunities, but I wasn't sure which ones. Stop making it be fear. <laughs> well, it makes sense. They're higher difficulty. Yeah. Right, anything else, Rayon? Uh, that is everything, I believe. Harley Quinn. All right, as her action, she looks at this horrible creature, and uh, she is going to... Oh, I, um, I forgot to mention, but I did enter Bladesong before, like when I cast Armor of Agathis. I just I forgot. Sure. But as her action, she would like to do a um, spell. She is going to spend a fourth level slot. It will transfer to the horse. Greater invisibility. You do that, damn it. She disappears, and she's going to test the water. She's going to dismount the horse. She is going to take a couple steps back with her 40 feet movement, and she's monitoring this creature. Does it attack her? It does. What? And that ones. <laughs> oh, that sucks, then. So it, it sees me, then? It attacked you when you went away, so yes, it's, it does seem like it. All right, very well. Um, in that case, then, yeah, I mean, I, I will have the horse move here. I'm going to, uh, oh, I can't remount the horse, can I? It takes half your movement to dismount, so if you're moving, if you dismount and then move, then, yeah, you can't remount. Yeah, fair enough. All right, well, I'll just move the horse there, and then he will make a hoof attack, and I think I'm just going to have Harlequin move back up, and then have the familiars move away, and I think that will be the end of my all right. Here comes the hoof attack. <laughs> um, uh, uh, hooves. That and is that the, the end of my turn. Toll. Um, one that was caught flat footed, despite having the highest perception. Yeah. I'm going to. Turn on at fifth level. Ooh. Spirit guardians. There we go. Fuck your spirit guardians. <laughs> and I will have um, I'll have Ray move in and give a uh, advantage to this one. Okay. And we'll move out the way. And that'll be my uh, turn. You want to move to get all three of them? If you, you mean? can, I don't know if you I, can. I don't know. I don't. I don't think I can. Move there. Oh yeah, there. That work. What's that? I, is that one being hit? Uh, if you go up one square, I think it should be. Yeah. There oh, you go. There then you I'll go. your head. Probably even move one more square upwards if you would like. Um, I think I'm in a good position here. Sounds good. Adrian. All right, well, I have advantage. Uh, 
Yeah. I'm going to see how this feels. I'm going to cast, as a bonus action, Shadow Blade. And I'm going to stab it. Stabby, stabby. Hey, go ahead and make your attack roll. It hits. Roll damage. Uh, and I... Uh, I'm going to booming blade this just because, even though I know it's not going to, you know. Never know. Yeah, you never know. Uh, if you're curious, uh, eight of that is thunder. It takes all the damage. It takes the thunder? It takes it's thunder. Enough. Ah, interesting. Very good. And makes a save. 16, uh, it's 39, so it's... No, it doesn't. Uh, yeah, DC 19. <laughs> Anything else, Adrian? Uh, mm, let's see. Going around the circle, Laverne... Huh, Laverne's a bat, so Laverne's going to have to disengage to get out of here. Yeah, Laverne just goes over there. That's it. Okay. Hmm. These guys' turn. This guy's gonna... Well, they have to make a few wisdom saves. One second. Yeah, hold on. One, two, three. I believe they all fail. I got one con save to make. Oh, their wisdom is uh Ooh, strong. Holy shit. 34 <laughs> points of damage. Fuck uh, you and your, your guardian. guardian. And they all fit. Yeah, they all fit. Ah, uh, yeah, no, that's... The 34 is correct. Oh, 34 is correct. Never mind. Uh... Ooh. All right. Hmm. Well, this one's going to move a small amount into the circle. It's going to hit itself with the call lightning. And we are also going to hit Tolv with the area. Yeah. yeah. going to make me a deck save. You succeed. Take 10 damage. And we're going to pop up over here and make a few attacks against Harlequin. The first attack granted by the lightning absorption was a 23 hit. Ooh, 23 is very strong, but she will use two charges out of her staff of defense. Boof, shield. All right, it's going to make another claw attack with its regular action and the bites. You're all good. Uh, Toll, go to make me the con save for Spirit Guardians against the Lightning Bolt. You're good. Second one. Gonna move around this way. So it's going to be 30 feet because I move. Ha I have half movement within your thing, right? Yep. And I need... Let's see. This one just failed concentration. Didn't it move, but it moves. It got booming blade damage, right? It did get booming blade damage. Yeah, it, yeah, it did get booming blade damage. Although it's going to be worth it. <laughs> I hate when you say that. <laughs> Throw another nine on there. All right. We're going to use a Lightning Nova. A what, what now? Everybody within 20 feet of this thing needs to make a constitution saving throw. On a fail, take 24 lightning damage. And lose their reaction and bonus action until its next turn. What? Cool. 
Oh, yeah, uh, that's a 19, but yeah. Come on, clip clop. Ah, oh, bugger. Uh, 20 feet, you say? Let me just, ch feet. Let me just check. <laughs> uh, there's there's a slider. Bruce is not. Bruce? Oh, no. He's 20 feet up, but I guess that counts him. Unfortunately, yes. Robin, you're okay. <laughs> okay, so my own guys... Mm, they're going to try to save against it because I don't want to lose my own reactions and bonus actions. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I am going to heal from it, at the very least. For six on the top one. And 12 on the bottom one. How much damage is it, sir? 24. Okay. Ooh. So, uh, I think I'm going to shield. Like everybody succeeded except for my own guy and a couple of the summons. <laughs> my horse is down. Oh, I think mine's still alive. 15 plus 19 is uh, 34 total points. So. How much damage again? Sorry. 24. Which triggers the lightning absorption. Again. Hi there, Rayon. You're going to get two claw attacks. 27 hits. 13 slashing and 5 lightning. And the last one... Um... Last one, we're just going to make a claw and a bite attack against Rayon, since they don't have a bonus action. Oh, currently. wait a minute. Uh, Toll, did you cast uh, the whole healing thing? Or the uh, extra, extra HP thing? Oh, eight. Yeah, you have 15. You have 15. All right, I'm putting 15 back on. Uh, let me just check something real quick. Okay, I still have Shadow Blade. Fair enough. Oh, yeah, Toll, make a concentration check for that as well. For what? The Lightning Nova. Spirit Guardians against Lightning Nova. I did. Before. Um, I rolled a... Give me a I sec. assumed he passed. He's got Warcaster and such. Yeah, it was 16 and a 14. Oh, yeah, he did. Uh, oh. I just voluntarily dropped concentration on Greeter. In uh, the 16 and the 14 was before. You need to do... You need another one? Yeah, you okay. have to do another yeah. one, too, for concentration now. Actually, at advantage. Yeah, at advantage. You're good. Harley Quinn, go ahead. All right. So she was very disappointed that the greater invisibility was. Wait, a I got my, wait, 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 wait. My turn got skipped. Oh, whoops. Sorry. Ray on. <laughs> <laughs> that's, just, that's just a pink cushion over here. Damn. <laughs> and your horse died. <laughs> and my horse died, which that totally, that totally ruined what I was going to do next. Um. Damn. Um, well, I guess I can't do that now. I will, uh, just keep attacking the one I've been... Oh, no, I'm going to attack the guy who's still got lightning stuff going on with him. Sure, go ahead. All right, uh, 2 d d One, two, three attacks. Oh, crap, uh -oh. last one. D4. Nope. Oh, so I'm assuming two hits. Two hits, yes. All right, I am dumping uh, two two of those hits. I'm dumping some smite on them. Okay. So first attack will be 12 slashing damage, 13 slashing, plus, I'm assuming, oh, not that one, sorry. I didn't do that one, sorry. You're good. Click the wrong thing. Uh, are these undead? <laughs> they are not undead. All right. Are they, are they fiends? They are not fiends either. All right. The okay, first one does nine radiant, and the second one does 14 radiant. So that is a total of 25 plus 25 again, so 50. <laughs> so for concentration, that's a DC 10 and a DC 13. 
Which I made both. Okay. We rolled them beforehand. Yep, barely. Yeah. That 13 uh, barely made it. Yeah, <laughs> it barely made it. If yeah. he had done one more point of damage on that second, uh, it would have broken it. You know what? Yeah, that is true. You know what? As my bonus, I'm going to do the uh, Channel Divinity Smite thing, so I'll just do that anyways. Okay. So Harley 18 Quinn, temporary like for me. First thing, Clip Clop, you got to go to safety. This is not your battle, my friend. Clip Clop is going to take the dodge action or disengage, like um, if he tries to take a swipe, I guess. Whichever. He's going away. Harlequin, however, is going to voluntarily drop concentration on greater invisibility. It was not effective. And she is going to drop 10 silver coins, her last monetary possessions. She is going to cast animate objects for the first time. Ooh, okay. 10 silver coins begin to flutter, and they are going to attack this one. Ah, uh, yeah, the most injured one. It's it's dead. Um, well, you know, I'll, I'll hit as many as possible, and um, here comes the attacks. Plus eight to hit, if I am reading this correct. Did they take damage from Spirit Guardians? Did, is this the second yeah, round? Uh, oh, actually, they do, because they weren't uh, there when he cast it. Oh, shoot. Okay, well, do the damage, and then maybe this one will be dead. Or Spirit Guardians, I guess? I know I did one round of Spirit Guardians, but is this... they go again? No. Yeah, I feel like they yeah, just went... Yeah, you, you need your Spirit Guardians to damage again. Alright, go ahead and do if that. He's, if he's moving that... the coins in, you could also just put him over here and have him wail on one of these guys. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Well, I want this one dead, so let's see what happens with Spirit Guardians. Okay. This is a 5th level Spirit Guardian, so any fail is probably going to end a, one of them. Sure about that? Sure about what? Uh, They're going to explode. They're, as soon as... If the, any of them that fail that save, they die. Uh, the level Spirit Guardian. Also, the object's wisdom is a 3. Well, the objects aren't even there yet. This is the Spirit Guardians on the start of their turn, so... Right? No, we were talking about on the objects. I'm yeah. super confused. Is we Tolv not casting Spirit Guardians and we're doing damage for that, right? Well, okay, so Tolv the cast Spirit, cast Spirit Guardians a turn ago, right? Sure. Now okay. you're now you're summoning the the animated objects, which means because they weren't active when Tolv did his thing, they are not protected by it. Oh, they yeah. are not protected from it. Oh, I understand. Okay, cool. And so they have to make the save before they can get to the creature to make the attack. Yeah, I'll put them over here instead, but is that one dead then, after that 23 damage? It's not their turn yet. Uh, I'm sure. That's what I was Wait. saying, okay. That's what I was they've, confused. They've, they've, only had, they've only had one turn in the Spirit Guardians. That's oh, what I, I just, thought. Okay. A total yeah. damage. Okay, yeah, never mind. No, it was, it was just that they had a free action there in the middle. All right, so Baylor, I'm going to put them opposite Rayon, and they are going to pound 11 plus 8 is uh, 19, and then the rest are kind of like 16, no, yeah, 16. Only and... the 6 misses. Oh, really? Yep. Now, I notice they are kind of uh, wolfy, almost, you know, lycanthropy. They are silver. Here comes the damage. <laughs> I mean, they're also. Fortunately, bad. the silver does not do any more oh, damage. So that's, that's a good, good idea. Silver, come on. Unless you roll one more die than you hit. Oh right, sorry. So ignore the three. Uh, that is going to be nine plus an additional uh, sixteen, right? Yep. Twenty-five damage, non-magical. And they also have another five more, right? Yep. Oh, very good. One was a very bad miss, though. Ooh. What do you think? Could beat up one of its buddies, I guess. And here comes the damage. So that is an additional um, 16. 
Yeah, 11 plus 16. All right, 27 not magical damage. I'm getting used to all of this spell, so bear with me. And I think I'm just going to move uh, up here to provide flank. Oh. That will be the end of my turn. You oh, shouldn't have did that. What? Why not? You were invisible when I cast, right? Uh, I would think Harley would automatic. You would know Harley. Harley was there. I mean, when he casted it. Yeah, maybe I won't go in there then. Very good. <laughs> I think yeah, by that's... default you would name Harley as somebody who would not get hit by this thing. Yeah, but I think you have to see. Hold on, let's. Uh, let me, uh... It is creatures you can see. Did, did he go you before me? Uh, no, because he goes Went immediately after you. After you. Yeah. Okay. Well, she's been around Tolv long enough that she knows that, so she's <laughs> close. She's gonna go up. She here. knows. That will be the end of my turn. Robin, fly away. No oh. better. Okay, so um, let me ask this question. Is this one in my Spirit Guardians? It is. I would say it's not. I might go further. Okay, cool. That's it. I'd have Fantastic. I would say that in order to be hit, the majority of whatever space it is, it has to be the majority of the space, which is not covered. The area isn't covering the majority of the space. So, so this guy... No, I don't want to move at all. Okay. Cool. So, so then those two are, yes. Okay. So I'm going to move right in and and, and I want advantage on this one. Hey, and I am I am going to cast I'm going to cast tr, 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 a lot of concepts. Thorn Whip. Against the uh, coins, the concentration. After uh, we all done. Yep, go ahead. We all done. Okay. So, and which um, one are you casting it on again? One Sorry. that's outside my spirit guardians. Ah, fair enough. All right. I want. I want to pull them in the spirit guardian. Uh, I'm trying to get advantage. Just give me a second. No problem. Um, so. 30 hit? The 30 uh, does hit. No, no, it's a 19. 19 plus, uh, oh shit, 19 plus 9. <laughs> oh, 19 plus 11. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> yeah, 30 does hit. Yeah, it's it's the roll 2d20 and keep 1. So yeah, that is advantage. Uh, 1d6 and... Moving around right on. Up to 10 uh, feet. 3d6. Yeah. 3d6. Okay, sorry about that. And, you would uh, hit pretty much any monster. <laughs> yeah, 3d6 plus 3, I believe. Yeah, because I don't have my... Oh. Yeah, it'll be plus 3. Hold on. It's you can tell that it's been a nine. minute since we played. That's, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> yeah. So, uh, what's that? 9, that's 12. Plus, hold on. This is where it gets fun, because I pulled them into my Spirit Guardians... He gets a little more love. He gets that all by himself. Save. Owies. Uh, then con saves. I think we're good on both. Oh, Take man. 29. All right. Anything else they're told? No, oh, I think I I think I did pretty good. Um, oh yeah, I can't cast anything else. Yeah, it has to roll right. that one to fail it. Spirit Guardians coming through clutch. All right, I gotta sign out, guys. Have a good night. All right, see you, man. Adrian, you guys want up? Uh, oh. Steady aim, Shadow Blade. Do we want to pause it here now that's the top of the it turn is the order? the top or? of the hour, the top of the order, yeah. Ooh. That's a good point. I think this is a good good place to uh, call it. And there's still something that these guys can do that is going to annoy you guys that I haven't revealed yet. <laughs> oh, you have I'm sure already. When... God. Uh, I'm sure when they die, it's going to fucking explode. Okay. So yeah. We just we I'm already I'm already prepared for that, and I'll probably lose my spirit guardian, but uh, it it's did its job so far. Oh, it's you know like... it's gonna. You know what it is? 
when they die, they're going to explode with lightning healing the others. So, hey, Bailey, before I before you move out, this guy is in my spirit guardian, though, right? Yes. Okay, that's all I need to know. The, the majority of one of the squares that they're in, so in this case, this square here, has to be inside. So, like, this, this one was... Because it wasn't the majority of this square, and it was these four that it was in. Right. That makes sense? Yeah, we're good. So, yeah, I'm good to stop right here. I actually did not realize how good these guys would be together. Or, Bailey, do you want to stop on the monster turn? Sure, why not? Because, I mean, Adrian's turn is dead simple. Go ahead. Did you pull up some ten point plan to do on your holy shit? <laughs> Forty nine points of damage. Um, well, your turn just became unsimple. Did you I kill it? Just look... Yeah, you killed it. Something's gonna happen. Boom. Uh, when it reduces when it's reduced to zero hit points, it emits a thunderous howl, instantly re regaining thirty three hit points. Each creature within ten feet must make a DC sixteen Constitution saving throw, taking in this case fourteen thunder damage and being knocked prone on a failed saving throw, taking half as much damage and not being knocked prone on success. Uh, twelve. So that's a fail. Okay, so I need to make a. You see Constitution? Yep, Constitution. And uh, and his fellow partner has to make one, too. Yep. Oh, oh, that's actually terrible. I steady aimed that. My speed is zero. I can't stand up. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. At least he's dead. Oh, boy. No, it's not. <laughs> It's not dead. It's not dead. It has 33 hit points. Not 30. Well, 6 D10, and then I rolled it afterwards. You got 26. Oh, 26. Okay. Nobody else within the 10 feet. Uh, Adrian, you're about to get pounced, my friend. This guy's in. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, I know. I rolled. Yeah. That was the last con save. Oh, and he makes another con for concentration. As uh, being <laughs> Oh, yeah. So, was... How much damage did I take then? You took seven. Yeah, seven thunder damage. That's for my uh, con save. You're good. Easily. I mean, I still have options. Uh, just relax. He might be dead on his turn. He actually might be dead on his turn. With 26, he said? A high roll could. High roll, you know, never know. Rolled 20 and... last time and was like a 30 something the previous, so. Maybe. What's let's see. Let's see what, how many dice are you rolling? You're rolling five d eights. Average of yeah, five d eight is what nine? Uh, yeah. Average of five d eight is like twenty four. On average, you're not killing it, and that's and that's assuming it fails. If it succeeds, then you're not going to kill it straight up. Well, you don't know. Uh, yeah. See, all right. You never know. I could do something stupid again, like another thirty four, and. Is what it is. <laughs> could do 40 i mean so uh by the so way that was 49 damage on a hit where i rolled three ones well you roll so many dice it doesn't matter if you roll three ones yeah i mean no that's only uh 12 die uh 10 dice yeah 10 dice All right, we're going to stop it right there, everybody. So that was an interesting uh, fight um, for us to have against these uh, lightning prowlers, I'm just going to call them, uh, that a mirror of dead men. 
Uh, we're going to pause this fight because, like I said, we got to the uh, 10 o'clock hour. And, uh, yep. So, yep, this is, a, this is a fight. And I don't like Ryan being sandwiched between two of these things, one of which is about to die. Uh, actually, one of the one behind me might die um, <clears throat> if Tove High rolls this uh, next time. And, uh, and I got the other one right in front of me still, too. So, yeah. This should be interesting. Uh, but I got plenty of health. I got I got 18 temporary H point, HP on top of that. So I should be fine with getting, the getting bombarded by these things. So I should be okay. But anyways, again, that'll do it for this night. Um, make sure you tune in every Friday night, uh, 7 p.m. Eastern, right here on Saber Wolf Gaming 2Ms. Now, if you missed the uh, live version of the show, be sure to head over to my YouTube page. That's Saber Wolf 18 on YouTube. Or... And I promise I'll get them back out there. The podcast version, which is on Ink by Anchor by Spotify, I'll try to catch up on the on the episodes there to try to get them up and running for you guys on um on the app. All right, guys. So that'll take care of that. Um, thank you for watching, and we'll uh, be back on tomorrow night with uh, Varus uh, doing some uh, Minecraft. <laughs> so uh she wants we are tomorrow well actually sunday technically is our anniversary and she just wants to play minecraft and eat some ice cream so <laughs> that is what we're gonna be doing so you know gotta make that wife happy so ice cream and minecraft tomorrow night right here on my twitch channel and uh yep compound's getting looking real good there i'm saber wolf thank you very much and have a good night